You tell me to promote. Yeah, wait till we get some people in here and then tell them about your day and uh, how you're enjoying uh, <laughs> August in NorCal. I'm not going to promote right away. That pie for breakfast with the yogurt be so good. Or I might want it tonight. All right, we're live. Hey, Mimi Swan, how you doing? Hey, Ronnie, hi, Shamay, how are you? Hey, Shark Bay, what do you want tonight? I might hmm? want, after we make the pizza, I might want pie. I don't think you're going to want pie on top of pizza. Okay. <laughs> Talk about a carb overload. We had, I had a big piece this morning. <laughs> Hey Crow, hey Fire Chick, doing good, Mimi Swan, how are you? It's a little crispy tonight, hey Nino. Hey you, hey Fire Chick, hey Nino, hey everyone, Shemay. Mimi Swan in the chat there, the legend. How's you. everybody doing tonight? <coughs> good to see you. Blue skies. Hello, Magda. Good evening to you. Thank you, guys. As you're coming in, if you could hit the thumbs up button. Uh, massive deuces. T.O., clean up your act. Hey, Crow, how are you? Oh, that breeze feels good tonight. It was a, it was a roaster today. 99, I think it was up here, something like that. So we were it's down probably, at Point Ray Station. Hey, Louise. It was hotter here than Point Ray Station, right? A lot hotter. Hey there, dang number four, that's new. What the hell does that mean, number four? Yeah, Hi, Thomas. hit that thumbs up if you're just Hi, coming in. Please hit that thumbs up button. It is appreciated. Funny, Tio. We don't oh, have. Hi, Magda. I'm doing good, mm -hmm. Mimi Swan. We don't have memberships here. Hi, Thomas, we don't have Patreons. We don't have GoFundMes. We only have you and your thumbs. So, yes, do we stand out from the crowd? Absolutely. Positively, 1,000%, and I wouldn't have it any other that way, <clears throat> but support is always appreciated. So. I've been good, and you know, we had a really good, fun time, and I've had, I've enjoyed my time here in Northern California with Rosie. It's really fun. Yeah, what's been the most fun thing so far? That, uh... um, this trip, last trip was Healdsburg. This trip is um, hey, where Judy. we went today. Point Bray Station? Yeah. I think you're going to like tomorrow when we go over to the town of Sonoma. Thank you, shark bait. Okay. It'll be a little crispy, but it'll be nice. Sonoma is an unusual town because that's where the California state flag was originated there. And that, that, yes. Hi, Cali Lisa. California Hi, was independent for a couple days or a week or so, and it was called the Bear Republic. That's why we have the bear and the star on the uh, California Where did it flag. come from here? Yeah, from Sonoma, the town of Sonoma, here in Sonoma County. I got you that hat that has the bear. Yep. That bear came out of Sonoma County. They designed a flag. They were independent for a couple of days, and then the U.S. said, no, I don't think so. The bear has a kind of a funky face. Sometimes it's cute, sometimes it's kind yeah, of Yeah, let's funky. give that thumbs up. Well, I wouldn't want to be messing around with a bear. That's but his sure. face isn't really, like, Hey, Joni, what's it's going on? How are you doing ugly. tonight? No, I don't think bears are uh, not something I want to mess with. Yeah, but they're cute. Like teddy bears. Depends. Panda bears are nice. They're teddy cute. bears are cute. But, uh, Hi, Joni. You don't want to hang around with a grizzly bear. Nope. Hi, Shamut. But I think they're cute. The babies are cute. Hey, sure not. How you doing? I like all animals. Go bears. Our cow bears, yeah. <clears throat> What's Hi, up, Bunny? Bunny? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. They're going to tax private wells. I'm already being taxed. Hey, Thomas, how are you? Uh, yeah, I've heard about taxing private wells. All the sauce sealed. And just to be sure, because I, tomatoes are a little iffy, it's sealed beautifully. Thank you, Blue Sky. I'm going to keep that under refrigeration. Thank you, Shark. And if I keep that under refrigeration, it's good for a long, long... That, that red sauce would get me through the whole year. Here, so. Thank you, Thomas, if you're wishing me happy pizza night. Doing well in Crooklyn. Awesome, Bunny! Right, remember who turned that porn? Why, Tupac, how you doing, Hanson? Crooklyn. 
I see. I was watching your Vegas. Yeah, I got it still to come. You, I mean, I have to prioritize. You know, Diane's in the here and now, so I'm prioritizing our videos, and then I'll put up the Vegas content because uh, I've got to do a little time to. Uh, you know, I got some stuff to get ready before I head back down again. Hey, Amanda, how hey, are Amanda. you? Amanda, how you doing? So I'm having my outdoors, folks. Non-alcoholic. Yeah, so I'm on it. I think it went well. Uh, you know, so I have plenty of room in my fridge. I don't have to worry about storing, you know, 14 or 15 containers of uh, sauce. So, Oh, yeah. Sorry, but let me put my binger banger boinger on. Thank you. It's on. Thank you, Shemay. It's on. God, you have a lot of them in here. Is this the ones Bird gave you? He bought them for my birthday. Yeah, I remember. You got a whole bunch yeah. of them. Nice. Yep. Send it to you. Oh, gummies. Yes. Two oh, Tuesday these have night. CBD. Do these have THC? Wait. These yeah, are... they got THC. Oh, okay. No, they don't make me feel high. They just chill me out. 50 mg THC. Okay. Like yesterday, I was on my feet for how long? Six hours, seven hours straight? Yesterday? Making the pie. And oh, the yeah. Pie. It was so hot. Yeah, so my knees were a little raggedy. Yeah. There should be no worries. Well, you know, I might. When did they start introducing lemon juice into that? So. You can't tell me in the old days that people canned uh, red sauce with lemon juice. I did use it. Hey, cinnamon, hot, hot, hot. Yeah, I was on the feet all day, so I popped a just to go to just to have a kind of a tranquil night. Neither one, Mew. I like um, hybrid. hybrid. Hybrid tends to agree with me more too. Yeah, it's okay, Bunny. You're allowed, honey. Um, the good thing. How are the rough streets of Sherman Oaks? Probably good. Did you see my my tuition video where I walked my neighborhood? It's it's a nice neighborhood. It's quiet in the daytime. Nobody yeah, was Magda, walking. Yeah, Magda, how are you doing? Yeah, I let birds been under the weather, so I let him cut loose a little bit. It's good to see him. I mean, I don't have to worry if he's bouncing around. He's feeling better, you know, because yesterday he was ragged out, laying down, and. Uh, Bird, you sleep with your door it's open. It's in the big huh? spread. You sleep yeah. with your door open. I hope you. I hope we don't talk to each other because I sleep with that window a little open. We can communicate. Yeah, we can. I can. Hey, hey, bird, wake up. I can't wait to get to Canada, Tupac. I would definitely hang out with you and be right underneath the stereo, reaching up, right there. <laughs> the tomatoes have been changed, different kind. Yeah, but I still don't think there's any risk of canning without. Um, that because you eat I'm on it you either have a seal or you don't right hell yeah Tupac weren't your old tomatoes huge tomatoes when Missy you've Jenna's seen here? big ones these are the biggest oh, I've ever grown did you over have here called big boy no but these things are I've gigantic I Tupac is excellent Tupac is uh, top-notch to me he's always been wonderful to me he's always been kind to me and uh, you know he has a place in my heart you know he's a he's a cool guy so hey, Rosie's, Rosie's gonna hi James. Rosie's gonna make her pizza sauce with her homemade pizza pasta sauce she made today. Pizza with the pasta. Sauce. Pizza with the pasta yeah. sauce she made today. I can't wait. Yeah, we're gonna. I have to clean that table real well and roll it out. So we're gonna wait. Yeah. It, we let it cool down. We're in no rush here. So. Um, yeah, you're a good friend too, Tupac. You've always been outstanding to me. Please hit the thumbs up if you're just coming in. Also, um, please, one of my moderators. I think it's just Shamay right now. If there's any chance to drop Diane C's uh, link to her channel, that would be oh, appreciated. Oh, thank you. I've tried to thank ask you, her to promote, but she's yeah, not I've, promoting I've gained 30 person. subs since I've been here, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm looking for like a night, Thomas. Thank you for I your support. Thank I'm trying you. to get a thousand. Thank so you, that Tupac. I can on that. You're I'm trying amazing. to get a thousand subs, guys, so I can monetize. Yeah. So she's on her way. Hello, Joey D. How are Hi, you? Shane. 
No, Bird's got some Scott Joplin on. A little ragtime music. I'm waiting for the silver maple rag to come on. <laughs> I was watching you, Mr. D. You're landing good stuff. Yeah, uh, Crow, I got more restaurant reviews coming up, but I cannot put Vegas content up when Diane is here, right? Because it doesn't make sense in the flow of things. So when Diane takes off, I'll be back to putting up the... Um, I've got four restaurant reviews to put up, so it'll be coming. <clears throat> two re-reviews and two very fresh uh, reviews. The, the last place we ate was amazing. Are we going to do a restaurant review tomorrow night when we go out to dinner? Yeah, I think we will be. Yeah. I won't tell. I won't break the secret of where we're going. Uh oh. So it's always interesting. Oh, thank you, James. Thanks so much. It's always interesting to make a pizza on a barbecue grill. How you doing, Mandy? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> I only eat all you can eat restaurants. No, not me. When I, I don't eat it all you can eat anymore. Tio, uh, I loved uh, Hometown Buffet, which is other buffets across the country, but they close near me. Hey, Sandy. Yeah, I do put up a lot of content. I just took uh, time editing a 35-minute uh, video. The cheese place we went to, as oh, well as the... Um, that was cool, the crackers. Yeah. I was going to buy crackers, but I'm glad I got to see yeah, the Yes, you'll have cheese. to buy some bourbon there in White Tupac. Thank you, Blue. Yeah. Could you imagine hanging out with Tupac? who just get wrecked up there in Canada. He's the White Tupac. Uh, so Tupac yeah, is a rapper. Yeah, he's... Um, you know, he's a legend in the YouTube drinking community. Oh, cool. There one near there that was good, but they closed down, too. So we had a fun travel day today. Yeah. Oh, you can tell each town so has its own little character, you know? it's all They're all different. It's like Guerneville's kind of blown out and, and younger people and kind of rusted. Point Ray Station, you can tell there's And what about money. Sonoma? Is there money there? Yeah, there's money in Sonoma. Cool. Hey, how you doing, Craig? Uh, somebody just said something to Yeah, the man, it, after I saw the kid put his hand in the chocolate tub, that was it for me. Um, yeah, there oh, is... Oh, thanks, Craig. I'll show my new car. Yeah, there is such a thing as the YouTube drinking community. Yeah, that's it. They talked Full Metal Troy or something like that. It was one of them. Hi, June. But it was hot, Hi, Joseph. hot, hot. Joe, I don't know how hot it was down in Fairfield today. But it was hotter than a $2 pistol in the streets of Baltimore City on a hot August night, man. And that's hot. <laughs> The $2 pistol, baby. Three coins in a fountain. Can we? Are you going to live stream in Sonoma? No, no. Here, we'll play with lemon juice. I, I use Hi, June. Citric acid, yeah. Well, I'm going to put that all under refrigeration, so it's all good. I don't keep that stuff much stuff in my fridge anyway. Yeah, her car will be coming Thank soon. You, why, don't you, why don't you update people on your car? Okay, it's coming from August 27th to September 2nd. And they're going to have to have it at the dealer for prep uh, preparation time or whatever. Which it's, assembly plant is it coming from? Detroit, Michigan? or where I think it it's Dearborn. From? Dearborn, okay. I think it said that on the email. Hey, Dearborn. Joshua. That's near Detroit, right? I've been there, honey. I did live stream from there with uh, Yeah Man and all that. It's near Detroit, Dearborn. right? Yeah, it's a suburb of Detroit. Yeah. yeah. That's where Henry Ford... Hey, Blackbird! Could you turn that down I'm just from a Los tad? Angeles, Thank Shannon, you. and I live in Los, I live in, uh, Los Angeles. I wonder where but I've lived elsewhere, to, I too. I where he got ragtime. You don't have to turn it that low, bro. You turn it up. I mean, shit. You don't have to turn it that low, bro. God darn, man. 
You know? Where'd you get today? Scott Joplin record? No, I got this one before because I like oh, oh, the Sting. Oh, the Sting. That's yeah, what we're listening yeah, yeah. to. That was a killer movie when it came out. Oh, thank you, Queenstown kid. I got more content coming up. I'm going to be down to Vegas before you know it again. The movie The Sting is good. It's good. Robert Redford. And yeah, I said Paul movie. Newman is in it too. Paul right? Newman right. is a good movie. Hey, mind your biz. Guy. It's very well constructed. It's a great story. Yeah, yeah it's definitely worth a watch. It's a good thing. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe because she won't ask you. And then she'll say, I need more subscribers. Thank you, say, High what Desert. What have you done to promote your channel? And she'll say nothing. Hit that thumbs up. Maybe button. I should have a little banner up I'm holding and says, please sub me. I'm Diane C. <laughs> There's your channel. Thanks, Shemaine. Oh, thanks, Shemaine. And never owned a new vehicle. I don't. I think I did one a 2008 Honda CRV. Is the only new vehicle. Well, I had a leased uh, cruise, Chevy Cruise. Thank you, Mon thank you, Mon I've owned new and used, but since I've been working, most of my cars have been new. So describe your car. Tell why you decided to um, get a Mustang. What's different about this Mustang compared to other Mustangs that you've had? I just got it because it's the one that came out. I got it. I didn't care about what it was like. I just needed a car. But you wanted a Mustang. Yeah, I like the look of well, a Mustang. I'm just saying, tell people what you like about a Mustang. Um, I like the power. I like the style. I like that it's rear-wheel drive. And they're discontinuing Chargers and Challengers now. And the only rear-wheel drive sporty muscle car will be a Camaro now. Yeah. Well, it, there'll be, I think there's some other car that's coming out. The Dodge is coming out with the... Some car called the Bimbo. I don't know what the thing. Oh, really? Yeah, some, they're coming out with a muscle car. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. Some people call Mustangs muscle cars. I don't think my my last car was a V8, so that was more of a muscle car than the one I'm getting. But um, um, some people call them sports cars. I think my insurance calls them sports cars when I got people in LA hate the LA Angels. I'm just telling you guys. Okay, it's like a foreign country to them. It's Dodger country in L.A. It's not L.A. Angels, all right? Nino, I've had an old junker before. Yeah, Crow, it's called the, the Bimbo or something like that. Yeah, purchase used and abused cars that run. People don't. People in L.A. don't follow the Angels. No, I think yeah. Orange County does. Yeah, I mean, it's Anaheim. like... It's like, it might as well be a thousand miles away. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody in L.A. does. <laughs> Even my dad in Thousand Oaks follows, it's far away, he follows the Dodgers. Well, it's, it's still L.A., it's a suppers. Right, LA, well, kind of, it's, yeah. it's a different county, but yeah. But you're not in L.A., oh, you're in Ventura, mm -hmm. that's right, okay. That's why it's conservative, like I told you. So it's silver with a black interior. It, it's a uh, automatic, right? And it's it's got, an automatic. I paid for that option. So it's an EcoBoost. It's an EcoBoost, and and I think they've been making them two or three years. They're only four cylinder, but they're more horsepower than my last V8. GT. Hey Alex, but they're it's amazing the horsepower they can get out of a four cylinder. Amazing. I mean, it's like, why would you have a V8 if you can get a, a four-cylinder that's going to put out 300 horsepower? How many horsepower does your van have? Oh, probably 150 or something. It kicks ass. 2.4. It's a very powerful, yeah. little, you know, because it's, it's only 1,500 pounds, the van. It's very light. That's true. Yeah, the question is, Crow, how do you preserve that new car smell? Joshua says a Houston Astros fan. You and Mattress Mac, right? I'll tell you how I do it. I keep the air conditioner and roll up the windows almost year round. Because where I live, it's kind of warm. Even in the winter, you have to turn the air on and your car's sitting in the sun. So I just keep my um, windows rolled up all the time, mostly. I, I wonder drive. what makes that new car smell. I don't know. You know. Is it something they spray on the car? I thought it was formaldehyde. My mom says it's not. I don't know. I don't think it'd be illegal to put formaldehyde in a vehicle. That's a carcinogenic. I know what they put dead bodies in, right? They, yeah, they, formaldehyde is a preservative. Right. I thought, I thought that's what it was. Someone told me that years ago, but I don't think it is. There's the boss. Hi, boss. Blues and other chemicals. You think that's it? Well, so why would it be the same all these years? Blues right? and other chemicals. Obviously, they've had advances in gluing technology and stuff. So. 
You know that the car wash, those things they hang from See the... what Shimei put? You better pay attention Thank you, to Shimei. The Thank you, Shimei. You know those things you get at car washes that are scented and you hang them on your rear view mirror? Yeah, the Baltimore they have one tree. called new. They have one called New Car Smell. I bought it. It doesn't smell like a new car. No, of course not. Yeah. The Baltimore pine tree. <laughs> but the best one is bubble gum. That's oh, the one I don't talk I know you don't God, like bubble gum. <laughs> like, I got bubble gum taffy. Make me <laughs> red. Oh, I can't stand that. Couldn't you just have vanilla or chocolate No, I taffy? like bubble gum ice cream, too. Oh, God. Oh. Terrible, man. Just absolutely Does anyone terrible. like have or had bubble gum ice cream as a kid and liked it? Next you'll be saying cotton candy. It. Hi, Sarah Kay. Baskin Robbins used to have it. Cotton candy is a disgusting flavor, too. Oh, yeah. I love cotton candy flavor. Uh, cotton Taffy. candy flavor. Uh, what the hell are those things called? Jelly bellies and all that. Oh, I like jelly bellies. I buy them. Too bad. Got a special oh, you do, Amanda? Okay. Boss I've never said it was irritating. Do you guys think it's going to be... A, no, I think it's going to be the Orioles and the... Um, the Orioles and the Dodgers in a rematch of the classic 1966 World Series when the Orioles won in four straight, beating Sandy Koufax, Don, Don Drysdale. It works. Don't overlook the Orioles. They're going to win again tonight, I think. So I'm going to have a puff. Can I do it on cam like normal? Oh, Joe said 108 today. Okay. In where where he lives? I told you, did you? Why do you? I'm not your mom. Okay, but where does he live? Well, when I was first here, you told me not to smoke on camera. You I never it said that. Family channel. No, I thought you were smoking cigarettes. Oh something. no, but um, what are we? Don't just ask say? me again. There's okay. the gummies. I've just never had bubble gum ice cream before. I'll have Thank one you, later. Sammy. But I'm gonna have a vape right now. Cotton candy, too fair. This oh, makes me cough sometimes. I can't take it, Hazel. I just need chocolate, vanilla. Right. How about Doesn't butter really pecan taffy? Yes. How about that? Oh, I never heard of it, but that would be good. Uh, uh. This vape is not working. Look at the boss. He's so he's so prickly. I don't get a nice hello, right? A good signal. I had to watch Bloomer. Well, Tio, oh, sorry. I can't. Um, Point Ray Station is notorious for having a lousy signal. So I figure I'll do the content, right? Hey, Spears, so I got a beautiful cinematic 30-minute video for tomorrow. So bang my head. What's up, Sarah, and how you doing? What are you going to bang your head over, honey? What is she talking about? Ask her what she's talking about. Who? Scottish Sarah. What Scottish? What happened? Is it my channel? Yeah, the Mets are good, Joshua. The Mets are good. They're solid. Oh, I like I like black cherry ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and cherries in it, or just cherry ice cream with cherries in it. Yeah, Nino. You know? Remember the peppermint ice cream you used to get in Chinese restaurants? No. Nope. Little peppermint pieces. Never had in it. it. Oh, that was good. Do you know green tea ice and cream? And I hate peppermint. I hate winter green and all that. But I love that little ice cream. Have you ever had green tea ice cream? Yeah, it's I've had Asian. green tea ice cream. They serve it at Asian restaurants. Well, thank you, Sammy. Aren't you sweet? I'm just chilling out today. It was a roaster. But we had a good time down in um, Marin County today. How do you like that countryside when you drive through there? Beautiful. The, those hills and dairy Very farms hills. and all that. More, hill, wow. more hilly than Laurel Canyon. Uh, no, I'm not, in, I'm not really into ice cream. Hey, Victor, Vicky, how are you doing, sweetie? You don't see me eat a lot of ice Hi, cream. Hi, Vicky. No, but last time I came, we did buy some, but you, yeah. you only ate a little of it. You well, thank you, Moonchild. I have one coming up tomorrow, too. Um, I, full full disclosure, I did buy an ice cream today. <laughs> but it was a soft serve. Yeah, it was. A, but it, it seemed was like a milkshake. It, it was special. Right? It yeah. seemed like a milkshake. Tell them how special that It was special. It was really, did you video that? Yeah, I have. It was one. really soft. And it like tipped over, and it was Remember like. I said it looked like an elf with the cat. Yeah, <laughs> and it was so delicious. It was real creamy, and um, I think Tia I ate it wants, really fast. I think Tia wants to ask you out. Um, no, Tia. So there you go, Tia. You got an open field. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't like tartar sauce. I do like Swiss cheese. I do like blue cheese. I do like cheddar. Uh. It's also good. Dairy and break on. I like a good salad with like cheddar 
shredded cheddar in it. Tio wants to take you out. <laughs> How nice is that? Where do you live, Tio? Tio is in Florida at the moment. Oh. My favorite ice cream is butter pecan. Oh my goodness, Magda, blue cheese is the gift of the gods, honey. It is so aromatic and so delicious. I couldn't even buy it today because I can only eat one, I can only eat like one bite every three months because it's so intense, the blue cheese. I used to like blue cheese dressing, but just the smell of blue cheese makes me gag. My mom used to love it. Let's get those thumbs up, guys. We are so far behind tonight. We have 160 people on board and only 71 Hazel thumbs up. It. Please hit that thumbs up button. Ryan. Brie, you like Brie Scottish? Is that what you're talking about? I tried it today. I didn't like it. I never tried Brie before. I had it at that cheese store, a sample. I was going to buy some, and I, I tasted it. And I didn't like it. Yeah, Sammy, he's still here. Let's see. There's Diane's channel. Some Thank chef you, Shemay. Stilton, Stilton ice cream. Uh, Does anyone uh, remember pink bubblegum from Baskin Robbins and it had bubblegum balls in it? I had it when I was a kid. They don't, I don't have I it anymore. I can't think of anything more horrific to pass through my Gulliver than that pink Did you like gum. it as a kid? I would have baseball card bubblegum. Bubble gum. Well, that's what it tastes bubble, like. But right, I well, that's kind of like what there. it is. My God, we finally sell something that Jen, Jen, and I agree on. Blue cheese and butter pecan. Holy uh, freaking chilla. Finally, something we agree on. Uh, do you? Chilla says I can be Elon Musk. Yeah, do you like uh, jalapenos? I like heat, not that much. Mm, they had pistachio jalapeno. Pistachio delicious too. Yes. They had jalapeno brie. I almost bought it, but I didn't think you. I thought I know you don't like hot and spicy, so I picked up. Oh yeah, I told you you wanted the mustard. Yeah, I mean, who wants bubble gum and ice cream? Come on, man. I know Shamay likes it. Don't forget, guys, we have, uh, what is today, the 16th, five days till Shemay's birthday. Woo, August 21st. Y'all better remember it. Hmm, Me cheese, too, yes. James. I don't know if they still make green goddess. Does it have avocado in it, green goddess dressing, James? Wasn't that you make a packet up or something like Maybe, that? Maybe, but they sold it in bottles like in the 70s, and it was no, called green goddess. No, I thought you could make a pour a packet into oil or something, and you shake it up or something. Uh, well, my mom used to buy it. Hello, Rupert. I thought it was green. That's what it's called, green goddess. And we were looking at the one it. chip challenge today, and... Uh, Diane is asking me, when are you going to do it? And I said, why don't you do it? No. And she made up yeah. some bullshit excuse. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. you don't get sick or boo, 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 boo. But it's okay if I get sick, right? That's all right. Ooh, ooh. I'm yeah, afraid. Sarah Kate's Monday. Yes, August 22nd, Sarah Kate's. Yeah, Russian dressing can be pretty good. I like Russian dressing. I like that. No, I like don't it. do preseason, Joshua. I like ranch. I like all dressings, really. Oh, no, Hazel. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, peach ice cream's okay. Bubble gum and cotton candy ice cream. Oh, but, but yummy, peach, Hazel. Peach is, a very, peach is what we call a very incipient flavor. It's like orange. It's very hard to infuse ice cream with a peach kind of flavor unless you're putting whole chunks and bits like... Briar used to do put whole chunks and bits of uh, peach in there. It's not a flavor like lemon that conveys very well. In, uh, in I like right. the chocolate chip ice cream that has big chips of chocolate, like chunks. Have you ever had that? Chocolate chip? With big chips. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I mean, uh, it's, I like it's it. a midline flavor to me. It's like, right? It's, it's, well, I like all yogurt. I mean, all ice cream except maybe if they made a coconut one. Peach goes well in yoga. I don't know why, Mag. There's something about when you freeze flavors. When you introduce a freeze component, certain flavors just die on the vine and cold. Yeah, I like cookies and cream, Shemaine. Now, one flavor that holds up intensely like and because chip. it's Italian ice is lemon flavors is wonderful. How about a lemon Italian ice? Is there anything better than a lemon Italian ice? I don't know. I had it when I was hey, a kid. I think I like the strawberry. I worked for a guy who used to work me. He told me peach ice cream usually flavored with apricot for the reason you stayed exactly because it's an incipient flavor. How you doing, Lee? Good Didn't to see you. Didn't those packs that you could buy at the store come with different flavors? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like the lemon cherry, as much. I like I the cherry. I love the lemon. It's so intense. I have the lemon, but it wasn't my favorite. 
you get a real good Italian ice of lemon. Oh. So with the handle you crank, yeah, dry ice and salt. Me yeah. too, Pat. You like I sugar? remember gentle soul people still use them today. Yeah. Hi, Lee. You got to have an Italian ice. Like if you're ever in Chicago, Magda, go to Franny's Beef and Italian Ice. It's amazing. It's out near the airport up there. It's amazing. Swedish I'm fish. Gonna, Joshua, yeah. I'm going to, Joshua, I'm on the West Virginia pit game, but I haven't put any attention on college football yet. Shemay, I buy Swedish fish. I love it. Because the first week of football, you don't know, like, they're always give me teams. Like, Tennessee is playing ball state at home. And the question is, is the coach going to run up the score in Tennessee, or is he going to have mercy on ball state? So do you take the over 35 or the under? Right. Or do you put... A thousand on Tennessee to win a hundred ridiculous bets like that. So this is fucking up, and there's still a lot of juice in it. I should we turn it? There's still What's a lot wrong? of juice. It's not being able to vape out of it. Let me it. see. Suck them. I am. But you have you to. You got to turn the thing or something. Yeah. Keep turning. You might have screwed it up or something. Yeah. Hey, Bonnie. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> Let me see the son of a bitch. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of uh -huh. joy juice in there. And it was is it this? was going on and off before where I could suck it. I have to suck yeah. hard. And now it's not sucking at all. Well, I'll turn you into a good suck. <laughs> I have that other one. I have that other one. Yeah, I like Moki. It's not the cup. You want to just have a cup. I got it to work. Sorry. I got it to work. Are you shotgunning me or what? I know, but the wind's blowing that way. <laughs> Shotgunning. Yeah, throw some crack in it. You know, Tio's really hot on you. Tio. Yeah. Tio wants you to come to Florida. Throw some crack in it. Hang out. I like to go to Disney World. I've never been. I've never been to Florida, but if I went, I want to go to Disney World. Seal Test put out a peach ice cream. Yeah. And Epcot. But uh, there's a my I'm not much of an ice cream person, but we did get a couple small cones at the Palace Market in uh, uh, the legendary Palace Market in. You think Point they were Race. small? I think they were big and just fast to eat. I think it's very expensive because. How much were they? They were three. It wasn't bad, but oh. I'm saying they're small. Right. Because it has an intense amount of heavy cream that goes into that. It's they probably really They don't fatty. whip it like crazy and put air in it. You're getting a real deal on that thing. Can you imagine how fattening that was? Probably really fat because it was really Yeah, creamy. I've never had Swedish fish ice cream, but I love Swedish fish uh, candy. Me too. I like the assorted flavors. You ever tried that? The mini ones? No, I just flavors. am stuck on just the, the red, red ones. Yeah, yeah they, make a, they make both at Walmart.com. You can buy a, um, a bag of the assorted little minis or the cherry minis. Josh, what does that mean? Seventy-four now out west, coming your way slowly. I've never tried. Are you on seventy-four school. route? Hey, Robert, we were enjoying your Colorado uh, River uh, morning. Man, I wish you would do more live streams. How you doing? Remember you watching Robert Mack on the Colorado River down in Laughlin? Is he in here? Yeah, he's right there. Robert oh, hi, Mack Robert in Asia. Mack. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Yeah, Robert, you ago. ought to do some weekend content down there to show us how crazy it gets on the river down there. Or go up and cover the uh, topless girls in, uh, in down at uh, uh, Lake Havasu. Mm -hmm. There's one it's working guy again. I, it's working. There's one guy I wish did more content, Robert Mackle, there. Must be the juice moving around in there, blocking something. Sour Patch Kids floats. Cheap vanilla. Oh, that's terrible, Nino. That friggin' off-brand crap. It's. I bought. Yeah, I heard. What? What was the impulse to buy a new truck? What the hell? Nino, I like that. I like the little cups for kids. You know what the, the hell, Robert? Trucks are so damn expensive right now. What the hell will hit you? Yep, Scottish. <laughs> it's. I have another one, but it's very raspy. It makes me cough. So this one Shit, I like dude, better. You must be loaded like a Greek. 
Mm -hmm. So Rosie has gummies. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to the content from Branson over there. Mm -hmm. People drown. Uh, that's what Robert was saying. People drown because they don't know how to swim. They do not know how to swim, and then they their jet ski goes over and kaboom. That's exactly. Why in the hell is Robert retracting messages? Robert, are you a retractor? Thank you, Shemay. You're a doll, Shemay. Yeah, two grand in a month. Do, 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 it's beautiful do. out here. The now weather. it is. It's not hot. You're going down to 74 degrees. Let me see how hot it is where I live. Ninety-two. Let's see how it is. I here. think the tax is high, but it doesn't really affect me because I don't really do. Uh, I don't buy it that often, uh, but it's a drag. I've been to Black Speech, Tio. I don't go. Uh, I don't go to a nude beach, although it is. But I did have my top on, mm -hmm. and the video is there. I can't imagine Scottish being naked out there. Scottish, she went topless? She went to a naked beach. Well, in Europe, a lot of them are naked. Or topless. Do, 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 I've never do. been to a nude beach, Tio, but I would go. I wouldn't take my bottoms off, though. <laughs> Everyone that's Thank naked, you, Lisa. can you imagine that? Hey, Dave, how are you tonight? Good to see you. Everyone was all the way naked, Scottish, even their bottoms. Wow. See what Amanda said? I am, I've been shopping at Boss Oh, you like Boss Cubs too? I got to know. Me too. Oh, you went to Pennsylvania? Cool. I just did a search, Amanda, one time. Sounds like a good Jewish emporium. It's just a department store that's privately owned, and they're all in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. It's privately owned. Um, that is family owned. Um, I found them by searching for some brand, and I saw Boss Cobbs, and I clicked on it, and I saw you could order online. And back in the day, they didn't charge shipping because they were in another state. Now they do for California. Yeah, but, it sounds like an Oy Vey department store. Uh -huh. Boss Cobbs? Remember when other companies in other states didn't charge shipping? Yes. Well, they do now, at least like eBay does. Hello, Pass for Pets. Welcome so. to the chat for the first time ever. So I used to save on hey, shipping. Amy. Really Desert cool. Amy, how are you? I mean, on taxes. I used to have to pay shipping, but I saved on taxes. Clean and well run. Yeah, never heard of it before. Well, Amanda, I've never been in one. I just love their online. Kohl's. I love Kohl's online, too. Yeah, i never even heard of Bosco. This is from Kohl's, I think, this top. i never even heard of Bosco. What was it? Bosco. Oh, yeah. It's a privately owned department store. It's only in the East Coast. New Jersey, uh, maybe New York, well, and Pennsylvania. In Maryland, I know that. No, I don't think so. Oh, my mom got my package. Good. She went home. Mm -hmm. Diane's a shopaholic. I am. I admit it. But I don't spend a lot. Like this top was like 12 bucks or 11 bucks. So. And it wasn't from Ross or Marshalls. I know teaching that. <laughs> Philip, how are you?
Yeah, Boscovs.com, B-O-S-C-O-V-S. It's no apostrophe.com. Damn if I've ever heard of it. I thought I knew every department store that was out there. Let's hit that thumbs up button, guys. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, please take a second to do so. We should be cresting well over 100 thumbs up tonight. Oh, how you doing? Granny takes a trip. Good to see you. Boscov's is here in eastern Ohio, too. Okay. Oh, okay. So, like, Have Wheeling, you been in, Steubenville. I want to go in a store, because how, how many people Sandusky. know a privately good owned, family-owned department store? Tell Welsh Boo good night. Good night, Welsh. Boo. Welsh Boo. The smileys look different on here, you know? Every uh, browser is going to look different. On oh. Here. Vegas was good, uh, Phillips. Be back soon. Hey, Johnson, how are you tonight? Thank you. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciated. Um, I'm going to be having a recap on that. It's just that I had... Um, you know, I had to concentrate on Diane coming into town, as you guys know. Gets prioritized on what's here now. So uh, I have uh, food content coming up and, uh, you know, an update on, I think, the uh, handicapping and all that. Yes, I've flown from Sacramento to Santa, from Vegas to. I flew to Vegas out of Sacramento, not out of Santa Rosa. My sauce turned out great. I have like uh, 15 jars. Yeah, Robert Mack had a uh, root canal. Oh, I've had one. And you know what? It's never the same by the gum. When I floss back there, I can feel nerves. It hurts a little bit. I showed my doctor, my dentist. And um, I went back twice because the first time he said it'll settle and it's never really settled. It's been two years. And um, my my other dentist there said that, you know, she x-rayed it and said it's normal. So it just, I got to live with it. Whoever did my root canal probably screwed up. Oh my God, it took a long time, the root canal. You ever had one? My favorite one... I don't know. I miss Kmart when it burned down here. Have you ever had a root canal, Rosie? Many. I have no. more crowns than the Queen of. I've had crowns, but no root canal. Well, root you canal. have to get a root canal before you can get a crown. No, you don't. Well, the ones I know, you do. One, like if your tooth is cracked, you don't yeah, always you need gotta a root get down there and. Well, I only had it. one, and I have, and I already had a full mouth of crowns. More remains at Lake Mead. <laughs> Hi, Monchichi. Hey, Monchichi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm bleaching my teeth. You know those crest white strips, you guys? They really work. So I bought some. They're no, like 40 Philip, bucks. I don't have any hi fi stuff in the pipeline. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, don't try to hold on to your teeth if you can. Yep. I have all of my teeth except the upper lower wisdom tooth on one side, teeth on one side. Ooh, ooh, wait for the Mustang. Yep. Mm -hmm. My mom texted me again. No, I'm not going to do any more clothing store videos, Sammy. No, not unless I happen to be there. I'm not a shopper. I'm not like Diane. No, I'm a shopper, you guys. I bought something today. I bought cookies. They were like $5.99 for a real small package, but I only eat like two cookies at a time. It sort of lasts me a while. Okay, Crow, your three canals are not all canaled. Okay. All my crowns except one are root canal. Let's let that dough start to come up to temperature. Crow Minion says he had three crowns. Were not were my three crowns. Oh, they were all root canal. Okay, well yours are different than mine. Mine were. 
I had to pay. How much is the root canal? I forgot. Really I don't know. I had to have three in two weeks. It was amazing. My crowns were much cheaper than my root canal. I had to go to a, what do they do? The specials to do root canals? You we know? went to a Point Ray station. I went to a specialist dentist for my root canal, and then I went yeah, back to Yeah, you have to, to my, go to an endodontist. Right, and then you go back to your regular dentist. And the yeah. endodontist was hell of an expensive, and I don't have dental insurance. Okay, Dave, okay, boss, say what you said, because I can't go back on this. You can see on your own phone. Oh, I can see on my phone. Yeah, why aren't you following on the phone? Because my mom kept texting me. Tell I can follow you're live. You can't talk. I did. Yeah, endontis is a profession. It's very specialized for root canals. Remember I went through that whole thing? They said I'd need heroic dentistry to save the tooth. I told the doctor, I said, you're going to have to do heroic dentistry. Hey, Harlow. Uh, or she could work in your field, T.O. Oh, he's going to get a bodega with my mind. He's always get smoked fish at the wharf. Well, now that your allergies are better, uh, Shannon, why don't you stop by the rancho? Or why don't we meet for a cup of coffee or something? Dave Dick Boss, I don't know in the trays we call them pig dicks. I don't know what that is, if that was to me. I don't know what you mean. A pig dick is supposed to be curly, right? It's, so it's this, these implant posts are like corkscrews. Oh, that go in your crown? Yeah, yeah. Mine wasn't. Mine fit exactly on top of my tooth, my crown. Yeah, well, that's the way they're designed. He's talking about implants, not parents. Oh, implants. Yeah, yeah. My, my stepmom had that instead of dentures or whatever, they were, a bridge or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> They'll usually put it off to a very specialized dentist, Dave, called an endontist. Amelia, thank you, Yilva. Five dollars from Ilva. Thank you, sweetie. Put that into the travel fund. Thank you. Hi, Ilva. Implants are thousands of dollars. Ilva Bjornsson tipped five dollars through Super Chat. Hello, ladies. Angelic face, purple heart, folded hands. Just hit me up on my uh, Gmail. A weird shirt, wait, fits. Uh, still got, yeah, let's have a cup of just meet for a cup of coffee. Say hi. I still got all my choppers, even my I still got cool. all my choppers, but I had to have two wisdom teeth pulled because of crowding. My mom's got all her choppers, so hey Lee, dental floss is your friend. My dad has all his choppers. My stepmom has some implants. Yeah, I was in uh, Mexico with, uh, down there, Los Algodones. Yeah, loose. This I'm not puffing that much because this isn't working real well. Let's see if it'll work this time. No, it's not working again. And I, I got a little oil. I think it's leaking or something. I don't know. It's not leaking, but I think there's a duct the oil is getting into. Maybe you should blow instead of suck so you can clear it. I just just blow. Yeah, ignore your teeth. They'll go away. Oh, I'm going to get my other one. Do 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 Oh, it's finally cooling off a little bit. It is delightful. It was uh, Kenny Rogers Roaster out there today. Whew. Next week's supposed to be hotter. Fire in the hole. Hit that thing, man. This one makes me, me cough, you guys, even if I take a small puff. So if I cough, just... Be aware, I don't smoke these at home, so I don't have a cough like this. I don't think I could, I've never taken apart one of those things before, boss. 
What, one of these? He told me to fix your thing here. It's got, see, this has juice. That yeah, has juice. That has plenty joy of juice. juice in this it. has yeah, joy juice. It's got plenty of joy juice. So is this. What Why I don't like, you just stay on this one? I like this one better. Then this one that you paid uh -huh. all that money this for? This one I paid 20. I like this one best, but it won't suck. This is an expensive one. 25. This is 20. Okay. All right, so I, I, I got to get into the weed business. I think I can man. go back in there and say, hey. Yeah, just say, you know, this. look at this thing. Maybe they'll give me, well, I can't take it. Manufacturer defect, they should be able to. I like that one hey, better. Hey, Luce, what's going on? What did you think? That kid from Petaluma pitching for Detroit today. I don't know. They were up four to one. I don't know how it ended. That kid was rounding in the form. Hi, Lee. Garrett or whatever the hell his name is. Hey, Schmeckelcat. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I would have probably laid a little money on that today. <laughs> Look at Amanda. <laughs> so Rosie made the pizza dough already. Yeah, That's just have to cool. roll it out and we yeah. just have to make the pizza. Yeah, the vape is like terrible. And you know, I spent 25 bucks for it and it was like half a gram. And the the cheap, the one that was 20 was uh, only a third of a gram, so it's a much better deal. Plus I like the shape better. It looks like one of those, what are those... Cigarettes you buy at 7-Eleven, those electronic cigarettes called. Oh, a jewel or something? It looks like a jewel. This one looks funky. Yeah, was, was that going to be any surprise that Lynn Cheney was going to get, Liz Cheney was going to get food from Wyoming? Ribs, potato salad, and chili beans. Nice. Nice, I'll have the potato salad, maybe the chili if it doesn't have meat in it. It's vegetarian chili. I love potato salad, boss. Sorry I missed your comments. I, I couldn't find them. I scrolled up. Write them Christ, again. Don't ever miss his comments. Yeah, write he will him have a, a freaking meltdown. Write man. him again if I missed any more comments, He will have boss. a meltdown and cut you off. Nobody puts boss in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, dude. I'm too lazy to even get up and make the pizza, right? I'll help you. I'll put the mushrooms on or something. I've thought about it, Harlow, but I've been able to do amazing things on a barbecue grill. Tigers four to three bought it in the ninth. Okay. Well, that's a problem because they don't have any bullpen at all. I guess, I don't know if the Orioles won again in Toronto or not. So they, we're having pie they've for They've really breakfast. made the... Toronto, they're a bitch boy this uh, since the All Star break. We're having pie for breakfast again tomorrow. Mile high apple pie. Yeah. How good was that pie? Oh, very good. And it'll be go good with the yogurt I have with it. That pie was scintillating. Scintillating. I've never lost a run line. I've never bought lost a money line bet, and I've never won a uh, over under. <clears throat> Bobby, shut up. Hi, Bobby. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't know who would buy a to. Matching a piece of wood. That's right, Harlow. Orioles won again, huh? Hey, Bobby, that kid is, um, that kid from Petaluma pitched for the Tigers today. Garrett, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, I have a couple Walmarts here, Ockness, yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of Walmarts where I live. My mom AJ, has your team must be the Guardians then. Why could Cleveland have been the Rockers or something cool? Why did they have the Guardians name? What the hell is a Guardian? Could you have not have called it like the Cleveland Rockers, like the home of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? And I mean, what the hell? No, she has. She's staying in the Garden Suite. Bobby, are you really done working? 
you believe Bobby will ever retire? Nope. Nope. Does he work part time? And or I'll full bet time? his first day off, they still call him. Does he work part time or full time? He was working part time, but getting up to full time. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep. My mom up appreciated. My mom had a part time job in an antique shop a few years ago. That's nice. I mean, if you're retired, yeah. you can get the job you want. You want right. to work in an antique shop? Right. You work in an antique she shop. She loved it. You want to work at McDonald's flipping burgers? You work at McDonald's. You want to be a brain surgeon, be a brain surgeon, okay? Yeah, never shuts up. <laughs> See the shit I put up with? Yeah, but Magda, how about the Cleveland Rockers or, uh, you know, something? How are you going to call it the Guardians? I mean, what the hell is a Guardian? The Cleveland Mob or something cool, right? Uh... Boss. I love Zoe. She's so cute. I gave Bert some cat toys. I um, ordered from Walmart and they sent me a big box that wasn't mine of cat toys. Two teams that I had higher expectations in baseball this season. The Los Angeles Angels. The wheels fell off their car. And the um, Detroit Tigers. I've just had a miserable year. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, YouTube? Um, no, that, Mark, we don't associate that with Space Force. I don't Force. know, Tio. Um, I'm learning a lot from her. Space Force is Space about Force. About YouTube, making videos. That's like saying Air Force is Guardian or something. No, Tio, I had a YouTube Cleveland's channel. Cleveland's famous for the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame there. Tio, I had my YouTube channel for almost five years before I met Rosie. So, I knew Rosie's channel, but I had it before. If you look at my old videos, they're really old. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, it's 7.30. I better get moving. To make pizza? Yeah. Take your time. I'm fine. I had that beef jerky. That vegan beef jerky. Tia wants to know if you enjoy doing live streams or recorded content. Recorded. But I, I do. I might get into live streams. I've done them. But I prefer recorded content. Hey, Dirty Lettuce. Yeah, the Cleveland Cleavage. Um... Why the Dodgers are called the Dodgers? They moved from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, I and know. I guess Hunted. because of this dodgeball that was played on the streets in New York City and stuff. Hunted, I don't have a cat because my apartment doesn't allow them, but a laser pointer is cool. Come on over, Harlow. Yeah, the Cleveland Consigliere. <laughs> the Cleveland Mob. Hi, Bridget. Yeah, good. Detroit won. So I would have cashed on that game today. That kid you. was very underrated uh, going in. Hey, Butterfly. It's been amazing. I've never lost a money line bet, and I've never won an over-under. Over under, you mean with the points that you're supposed to be? No, the total number runs between the two teams. Right, my dad bets scored. on that. My yeah, dad. I can't do that. Yep. Uh, straight win loss is good. Yeah, this thing is not sucking again. It worked for like a minute. I'm going to play with it because it was 25 bucks. I should take it back. I should take this back, really. Yeah, you should take it back. If you want to stop there, I will. I'll just take it out of my money back. Or maybe they'll give me a discount, or maybe I'll just tell them. I want to see you nail that son of a bitch. <laughs> tell that guy he's got a lot of balls still in that thing. Yep. Want me to help you with that? Nope. I'm going to tell you, entertain the chat. Okay. 
Um, it's a vape, a, a cannabis vape. They make uh, jewels that are uh, tobacco vapes, nicotine vapes. It looks like a jewel, but it's not. And it's not working. This one works, and it doesn't look like a jewel. So, looks like a cigarette, which is a vape. It's a, a cannabis. I like to have sanitary conditions. Yep. When I cook. Ain't no third world smoking operation. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> what am I up to? Someone just asked. Well, I've been doing a lot of walking um, since I haven't had a car, and that's good. I get up early in the morning sometimes and walk to the grocery store or the dispensary across the street. So. Five times, there is no button on it. This is a weird vape. These don't have buttons. And this one doesn't suck. You know where I got this table? Where? In the Boston Banner. The little one? Yeah, right It matches there. this one. This one right here? It's just like this one almost. Yeah, I got that from them. Cool. Generally, if they throw anything at I want it. Cool, like the car, right? Yeah, like anything, yeah. <laughs> sure. Rosie's not here now, so I can blow smoke. It's not making me cough. Amazing. Well, I don't like that one as much as the other one. Sure, so. Janet will be in the torture in a few minutes. <laughs> so, are we going metal detecting before I leave? I guess we'll do that on. What time is your flight on Thursday? Uh, I have to be at the airport about 12, 12 or 15. And I'm probably not. Okay. Either we go metal detecting or just no Thank you, Shimei. Those vapes all gunk up in the... Okay, well, that's probably happened around one second. It did, Harlow. I was able to... It, it clogged up on me a few times today, and I was able to get it to work. And I just did here, if you were on, but now it's not doing it. So, do I shake it, or what do I do? I have to manipulate it out while sucking. Don't push this. There's no button on it, Craig. This isn't a silver. Are you talking about this or my car, new car? There's no button on it. So. But I've been, who asked me what I'm doing? I've been walking a lot. I've been, um, seeing friends a lot and um, getting my car soon hopefully Bridget I my car was totaled I had a 15 year old Mustang GT that I loved and it got I got was in a bad accident it got totaled and um, uh, my insurance did pay a lot for it so that's good But it was a classic, it was a Mustang GT, but it was considered like a classic. So I got as much for that as like a car that was a few years old, sort of. I got a lot for it. So I'm just using a little of my own money to buy the car. You will have the package instructions in it. Oh, I think it does have an instructions in it. I have the box in the bedroom, thanks. Craig says it came, probably came with instructions. What the? The vape, the second vape. I don't know. A knob at the end? Okay. I never bought a vape. Well, there's this like. thing. There's this. This is all the juice. There's this thing that twists, and I think I manipulated that once, and it worked. So I'm manipulating it right now kind of playing with it. 
Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Funny, Nino. I can't take it on a plane with me, that's for sure. I have these little instructions in there. Okay. Yeah, butterfly. <laughs> Yes, Tio. Walking is good and healthy. And I get to see cute dogs because my apartment doesn't allow pets. But when I take a walk, excuse me, a walk in the morning like I have been, I see all these cute dogs. Already growing it up. I used to do it in the old days. Yep. I used to do it up, man. Yes, Bridget, I'm getting another Mustang. Get a better fish, Diane. Um, yeah, I already ordered it, Bridget. It's coming. Um, I ordered it from the factory because they only had, this is because of car shortage, and they only had five Mustangs on the lot, and they added like $5,000 to them for a dealer prep, dealer fee. So I didn't, some markup fee. So I ordered mine with no markup fee, and I got the, uh, the this custom made basically I got the um, options I wanted color I wanted silver with a black and with a it's called charcoal or black interior I had a choice of two interiors a lot of colors they had blue I was gonna get blue maybe but I didn't silver's best for me because it doesn't show the dirt silver or white because I don't park in a garage Thanks, Butterfly. So it's coming August 27th to September 2nd. Coming in by rail to the port. Yeah, it's coming in by train. No, it's not loaded. I couldn't afford that. The ones they had on the lot, the one that was in 2022 at EcoBoost, was fully loaded. Plus, it had a dealer markup fee. It was really expensive. So I'm like, no, I'm ordering my own. I told her no markup fee. I bet that son of a bitch puts a markup fee. I'm going to drive down there myself. And okay, Rosie, you can kick his ass. I don't trust anybody unless she was right. I know, and I didn't get it right now. But it says, it says that he told me, and it does. I have the MSRP. They can add after the MSRP, right? That's what they do. So. Well, I better get in there within 72 hours. I'm going to get my ass over there right away when they call me and tell me it's ready. Uh, I'm not going to let it sit there for 72 hours, you know? Let's see how you print that book. Good. Good regulation pie. Good. Because you know what they'll do after 72 hours? They'll sell it, you know? Yep. Thank you, Rhonda. Say hello. Rosie, you're wearing a hat. Remember I told you I've been wearing hats since I've been here? Yeah, wear my cowboy hat today. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, eco boosts are pretty amazing when you think of that the worst power that they generate. Yeah. Yes, we're both okay, me and the other driver, Harlow. Thanks. 
Yeah. Our first use of the red sauce. Got papers on what loose. First use of rest yesterday's red sauce. Yeah. What do you mean by that loose? You got papers. Cameraman hat. I don't know what you mean, boss, but I wear hats when I'm here in the winter at Roses when it's cold, and in the spring I wear snow hats. You know, beanies. I don't know, Tio. Oh, probably when I was a teenager, I drove really fast, and my Mustang, I, I didn't speed. But when I had a cheap car as a teenager, I sped on the freeway to, for, for thrills. Yeah, I'm a real safe driver, you know. I try not, I go like five miles over the speed limit, pretty much. Yes, Harlow, I'm from Los Angeles. Born and raised, and I still live there. But I moved to Ventura County for a couple years, once. We're having mushrooms and onions. Seeds. I'm a vegetarian, and I don't even think they they have leather on the, you know, on the GT. I think the deluxe Mustang, but mine didn't offer it. Just cloth, either ebony black or this color that had like a medium gray and a light gray. And since it's a silver car, I thought it was would look cool with the black interior instead of the light gray. This light interior. I, with my black car, I had a lighter gray interior. I'm in um, Nino, I'm in Sherman Oaks, which is the neighborhood of Los Angeles. I'm gonna do a selfie, I'm gonna do a selfie stick video when me and Rosa eat the pizza. I'm gonna do a, you know, like a video of us and say I'm live on Rosie's, like I did last time. I was here. Rosie, I'm going to do a live when we test the pizza, okay? I'm not a live, a video. folks. Just put the tomato sauce on. See? Cool. My channel is Diane C. D-I-A-N-E space C. No dot after the C. And I think I'm like the first one that comes up. There's other Diane C's. Here, I'll put my picture in the chat so you can see it. There I am. I said hi. That's me. Oh, thank you, Shemay. <laughs> Shemay beat me to it. My next trip is 
I don't know. If Rosie wants to go to Palm Springs, I might go there. I might meet her there. Oh, thanks, Nina. You're seeing me on video, so how do you know? But yeah, I've been told I look younger. In my 20s, I got asked what grade I was in when I was like 28, so by a young person I worked with. Because so. I worked at AAA. Remember when I worked at AAA, Rosie, as a dispatcher? I did, I told you today, I worked at AAA as a dispatcher in between jobs, and there were high school students working part-time. And one of them asked me what grade I was in. <laughs> cool, Nina. That's cool. I am getting hungry. I can't wait. Getting hungry, folks. She's just putting the Parmesan on now. I mean, the um, Italian. Is that Italian cheese or is that uh, mozzarella? Oh, it's a blend? Cool. With mozzarella in it? What else? Oh. Did I tell you I dressed burgers at McDonald's nope. when I was in high school? Yeah, besides the drive through sometimes they would put me at helping the cooks. And I, it, we got paid the same as the cooks, really. But we would um, put sauce and pickles and onions and all that. It was kind of fun. Do it for about an hour. It was kind of fun. Because McDonald's had a big turnover back then. I mean, they... Remember how popular McDonald's was when I was in high school? It was so popular. Yeah, I dress burger Cheryl. Hi. The buns, I dress the buns. And then the, the chef would, the cook, would use a spatula and put the burger on each of my dress ones. Then we put the buns on top and wrap them. I would do that. The chef would just cook the meat when I was there. Now they, they do everything. I think they cook it, they dress it. But this is McDonald's, it was a big operation. It really was. It was fun when I was 16, Rosemary, but I, I didn't like it after that. I only worked there for a year, and I was part-time in high school. Oh, funny, Nino. Yeah, I used to work after school for a couple hours, two or three hours, I think, a few, night, a few days a week. It was only part time. But I did work breakfast before in the, on weekends, and it was kind of fun because I was in school on weekdays. Breakfast was fun. Yeah, Rosemary. I would ride my bike home from, from school and go to McDonald's and use their bike rack and work there. And I got free food too. I would make hot. Hot fudge Sundays all the time. Pizza Hut, cool, Cheryl. 
I used to like Pizza Hut when it was a sit-down restaurant and you'd go in. Yummy. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, thanks, Shamay. You're so sweet. My gosh. So I'm going to smoke my vape again. If it makes me cough, everyone, I'm going to walk away because I don't like to cough on camera. Thanks, Rosemary. Rosie is a good cook. Yes, it does, Justin. I tasted it. I don't know if you were watching, but last time or the time before that, I was here in March, I think. I tasted a pizza. It was delicious. Well, I haven't put on a hoodie yet. I think last night I was already wearing a hoodie at this point. So, what time is it? Eight o'clock? It's warm. Let's see what the temp is. Okay, it's 87 where I live. 79 here. Okay, it's 10 degrees, almost 10 degrees cooler here. Oh, thanks, Judith. Yeah, I like camouflage. I have a... Uh, shorts that are camouflage, but they're a little big on me, so I haven't worn them. I, I lost weight. I can't wear them anymore, but they're really cute. Be right back. So I gave Bird some cat toys. I think I showed them on a live stream or on a video, but um, yeah, I got a whole box from Walmart of cat toys because I ordered from them and they sent me it by mistake at somebody else's package. Tons, there must be like a pet store or a, some business that bought pet toys, like a shelter or something. A whole bunch of cat toys. And so I gave Bird six of them. Well, three of them, but each one has two cat toys in it. But I got like 50 or 40. I gave some to my mom and some to friends. 
I might donate to a, to a shelter. I don't know if cats will play with them in a shelter. Let me show them one of the cat toys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show Rosie's the cat toys. Okay. They're so cute and they rattle. I think they were ex expensive. I didn't pay for them, but they come two to a package and they rattle. I guess you're supposed to take these tags off of them. They're cute. All right, well, we got to do is sit back, wait, and enjoy. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Aren't these cute, Rosie? The, the face? Yeah. But yeah. Rosie's taking this off. All right, do you have scissors? Well, I, I don't know. Because these things are All right, we need about uh, 20 minutes there. Let that go good. Take a look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, I think the cats like that. He's got a scissor, I told him. Okay, I'll have one. Because I'm eating. Yeah, I already had one. Remember when we first started? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have one. It's funky to open. Does it have that thing here where you... Yeah, it looks pretty good, huh, Harlow? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he went to the doctor. Yep. Ooh, ooh, so I'm ooh. having cannabis-infused Kana. Yeah, you have to have two for one. It's not one. These are just five. These are tranquility. I'll start with one. Yeah, these are tranquility. Yeah, the pizza's going to be good. Uh, well, the vape ain't working for her, so your vape this will like it, suck. This vape works. But I don't like it as much. You need to have wedding cake in that. Where's Bird's wedding cake? Is he a wedding cake flower? I don't know. That's nice, Nino. Uh, well, he's doing better tonight. I mean, obviously, he's jumping around here and talking to the birds. He's not live streaming? I guess he's not. No, but he's Dr. Doolittle. He runs his own show. So he's on his way, he's on some antibiotics, doxycycline. Chatting to Deanna the crows. I think that those mouse toys fit in with his toys, don't you think? Yeah. His toy population. Look like little toys. It's hard to believe in. October, it'll be a year he's been he's so sweet. You know? he's so sweet. It's been like a easy year. He's always very carefree, you know. No worries. He's great. Uh, chatting with the crows. Chatting with the black crows. Watching all the world go by. I don't think so, Judith. I've been on antibiotics and they don't affect my... Or yeah, Robin, I'm kind of disappointed in how that we're losing our sunlight. It was so great in June. We were light till 9.30. We lost a half hour in July, and then I think we lose 45 minutes in August of uh, light. I know all the show tunes, honey. Give my regards to old Broadway. <laughs> Got to me. Whoa, it's a big one, huh? Rosie killed one in the, in the guest bedroom. Really scary. That's the first spider I've exterminated in years here. 
Usually uh, we don't gain time back till December 22nd. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 ooh, ooh. That's that's just a decor ornamental spider there. Mind is the sound of music. I saw Marie Osmond. I like the movie too, but I saw Marie Osmond Harlow perform a sound of music. I guess uh, my favorite musical would be Chorus Line. I like that one too. I saw that one. Do 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 one singular sensation every move that she makes do, do, I have the soundtrack do, 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 one look and suddenly nobody else can do my dad do, used to pay the soundtrack in his car time can never be gained only lost do you like to see how the boss waxes philosophical these days I do. you he should has be on time Facebook. to sit and contemplate his oh neighbor. you are on Facebook boss why don't you put why don't you write those in in status and put it on your He's like line. puts down Ben Franklin wisdom on there. Yeah, well, that kind of wisdom they pre people post on Facebook, little memes and stuff. Yeah, I never. I wanted to see Rent. I never saw it, Justin. Hopefully, I'll see it in small theater one day. It's, there's no way I can touch the price of a Broadway ticket these days. Yeah, all we are is dust in the wind. You had Pippin and uh, Annie that It's a hard knock night for us. It's a hard knock life. I don't know that song. We love you, Miss Hannigan. Maybe we fix the game with something shady. Oh, you know what else I like? The King and I. Did you ever see that? My God, that was Deborah Carr and Noel Brown. Not in real life, Good but the Lord. movie. Yeah, the movie with Deborah Carr. The movie. Carr. That was a musical, too. I love that. Oh, that baby's looking puffy and good. The one singular sensation. Remember Bob Fosse? Bob Fosse, you know. I move that do 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 do. I got so sick of this. My dad played in his car nonstop on tape. Went to Walmart today and was blown away by the price of a ten pound. Yeah, it's not. It's ridiculous. Butterfly rainbow, ten pound bag used to be five ninety nine. And then uh, Ellen's girlfriend died. Ex girlfriend, ex wife. I think they were married. I don't know how bad, you know, Magda, I hate to say it, that's the way artists are. You know, Van Gogh was awful to his Polynesian, you know, his Tahitian women. I mean, it, I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, ex-girlfriend? Okay, I thought they got married at one point. I guess it wasn't legal then, maybe. Hey, how you doing, James? What's going on? Do, 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 do one. Because she's married to her new girlfriend. I'm sure you know that Portia. Yeah, the old Portia I've time. never been a big Ellen fan. Yeah. Well, I you used know? to watch her occasionally. Ooh, ooh, limited series Rosie, uh, called Fosse Burden, okay? Yeah. She's married to Portia Jurassic, right, Cheryl? Think about the sun, Pippin. Think about the sun. Do, 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 do. Magda liked that feud between Betty and Joan. And as soon as uh, Joan Crawford got off the set of uh, uh, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte, Betty Davis put a Coke machine in instead of the damn Pepsi. <laughs> it's a famous picture of her and Billy, uh, Billy Wilder with a Coke enjoying a Coke back there. Cool. Look at what Cheryl says. The state should pay to rebuild the house you destroyed. Not the not the person that drove into it, but the state should pay for it. Can you imagine that? <laughs> she was big her uh, on the board of directors of Coca-Cola, right? 
You're gonna have to deal with me, boys. Fucking get used to it. <laughs> I thought you would have loved that scene at PepsiCo headquarters, Magda. In Purchase, New York. It's the fucking deal, boys. So when I pick up my car at the dealership, I'm going to make a video of me looking at it, checking it out, maybe, or just saying, this is my new car. Yeah, don't make a thousand videos. Just make one okay. overview of Maybe I'll video. learn how because to Because then you want to do driving videos. You want to tell people, how does it drive? You know, all that kind of stuff. I might edit, learn how to edit by then, so I can make well, an interior you know, video. I don't tell people what to video. do. Joan was in the women, 1939, Magda. Oh. With the great Norma Shear. Who, Bette Midler? No, Betty Davis. Oh, Betty, I thought it said Bette. Oh, Rosalind Russell was talent, more talented than them both put together. <laughs> Who else was in that? I love the woman that, uh, damn, what was her name that had that voice? I don't ever tell you. <laughs> There's no sign of butterfly. She was like the uh, woman that ran the ranch there. No I can't James. remember her name. Do, 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 do. Memories all alone in the moonlight. La da dee dee do 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 do. La da dee dee do do. Pizza cooking? Yep. La da dee dee do 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 do. Happiness is. Let me love you again. I should have been on Broadway, huh? Dan. Dun, 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 dun. The <laughs> Phantom of the Opera is here. How about the Phantom? That's an op That's a Broadway show I would have liked to have seen, the Phantom. Yeah, me too. There are people at work that kept seeing it over dun, dun, and over. Dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Paulette Goddard, who I never really cared for. You left a name out of there, though, Magda. And Joan Fontaine was the sister of uh, Olivia de Havilland, and they hated each other's guts. No, the woman who played the the uh, ranch manager in that movie, she had a very distinctive, she was like on Ma and Pa Kettle. She had a very distinctive, raspy voice. Oh, I don't know, Tio. We'll tear into all that shit. I want to check out the pizza. You can check it out. Showboats. Oh, man. River. Oh, that's cool, Harlow. Marjorie Maine. My God, she was good. Marjorie Maine. She was excellent. Don't know her. She ran the ranch there, Magda. You guys, I didn't watch a lot of movies and stuff growing up. Oh, I no. cut my teeth on classic movies. 1920s, 30s, 40s. Really? Do, do, do. You'll see tomorrow, Flan. Hi, Deborah. Thank you. Hey, Deborah Langley, how you doing? Marjorie Maine, man, she was an amazing actress. Maybe that vape is that made me sleepy. I've yawned already. Twice. I've yawned twice. I don't know. I just yawned. I think. Hey, I'm just EJ. Mellow. Barstow. One of my guns that probably burned down. I'm sure it was insurance job, EJ. Uh, motels just don't randomly burn down in the desert. Do, 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 do. Hi, Flan. Oh, you're soaking in your outdoor tub. Isn't that cool? Uh, 
<laughs> Magda, I want you to see a Louise Brooks call, Louise Brooks silent called Diary of a Bad Girl or something, Diary of something. Hi, Monica. Olivia de Havilland and Joan Fontaine. Yeah, they hated each other. Sisters that just couldn't stomach each other. Hey, Monica. And I never liked Joan Fontaine. I thought, I thought, uh, I really thought that uh, Olivia de Havilland was a hell of an actress. I never thought about Joan Fontaine. Just never really struck me that way. It was another one. Of, she was another, another one of. Um, oh, you've seen them, yeah. She was another one of Hitchcock's so blondes. Nothing burned. It was Diary of a Lost Girl. That's what it's called. You got to see that uh, black and white, Magda. And then the 1928 or 29 conf Confessions <laughs> of Joan of Arc. That, that Joan of Arc movie will blow you away. Uh, yeah, she was in Rebecca. Thank you. I'll make a video now instead of when we get the pizza. Ni with Nigel Bruce. Do, 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 do one. We got mushroom... Uh, we got mushroom, onion, parmesan, and four cheeses. Yeah, it should not have won. Do, 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 do. You can go lift the lid over there and show people, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Do, 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 do. Hi everyone, I'm over on the Rosie O'Kelly channel live streaming, and come on over, R-O-S-I-E-O apostrophe K-E-L-L-Y, you're making rabbit ears on me, and we're watching the live stream here, we're live, and the people are chatting, and we're having pizza for dinner, and I'm going to show you the pizza, right Rosie? Yeah, you. show it away, it check it on hot? it, make sure it's okay. Is the lid hot? No, you can grab the handle, not the lid. Right. Oh, thank you, Deborah. So You're sweet, it's, babe. It's got mushrooms, onions. Yeah, the grapes are brathwurst. Yeah, 1940 was a tough year. Um, red sauce, pasta sauce. It's going to be really good. How's it look? It looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. So, and we have the, her own red sauce. So, anyways, here I am with Rosie. Have a good evening, everyone. Thanks for watching. Come on over. Bye. I gave you rabbit ears there. I fun. know, that was cute. <clears throat> Very underrated actress was Jean Arthur in the late 30s and 40s. She was damn good. She was in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, and she was in quite a few movies. She was a mainstay in the late 30s, early 40s. Grapes of Wrath was good. Thank you, Shemay. Uh, David Carradine. I want to have spa ribs. Let's see how many subs I have I'm now. I'm not going to be slipping my shipping my red sauce. It's only for local consumptions. You're not. So Magda, you write down Diary of a Lost Girl, which is so far ahead of its time. But that's the way Ernst Papp's movies in Germany were. Because oh my God, I have 621. That's great. Just because from tonight, I gained like. Dan, at least. Do, Thank you, everyone. Do, 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 thou shalt not steal. Do, do. I don't think I saw written on the wind, Amanda, surprisingly. Did, yeah. Man, did you see Cat, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof with uh, Elizabeth Taylor and uh, Paul Newman and uh, Burl Lives? 
Who, Will Ives was in that Christmas cartoon. Yes, he was the so narrator in Frosty the Snowman. Frosty. Right. He'll be back again next year. And I think he sings Frosty the Snowman. Too. Frosty the Snowman. Yeah. Right. Was a happy, happy. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds just like a. <laughs> and one day Frosty would return. <laughs> Yeah, the great Jimmy Durante. <laughs> silver and gold. <laughs> yep, silver and gold. <laughs> Look at Magnus, she's having an orgasm there. <laughs> Alright, I think that pizza's done. I'm going to grab that and put it out to cool down a little bit. Okay. I don't want to burn the bottom. Who knew that the hot house would kill Frosty? <laughs> but he would return one day. That's right. Ain't that a good looking pizza? Yes. It smells fantastic. Good. Look at that son of a bitch. Huh? It's a, yep. Look at that bastard, man. We're gonna let it cool <laughs> off for a bit here. Oh my gosh, that looks fantastic. He knew that Frosty would return one day. I'm going to get something to drink. Want to hear, hear my Jimmy Cagney? No, my Jimmy Stewart. No, no, wait a minute. No, I don't know. How can that be? 187 people. Secretly, he knew that Frosty would return. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who was that? Amanda Hug and Kiss talked about Lorenzo Lamas last night. To let that sit a couple minutes. And that Charles Dickens one you do is really good. You know? Right. The Christmas Carol, right? It was a cold yep. and frosty night. That's in really London good. Town. Old Bob Cratchit was seated at his desk, <laughs> and old man Scrooge had cast an eye upon him. Cratchit! <laughs> you blithering idiot, what are you doing? You're funny. <laughs> uh, Lorenzo, it must have been, I don't know who it was. I thought it was you, Amanda. I thought you went nuts for um, Lorenzo Lam. No, I guess it was Shimei. That's right. That's start. right. He's doing action. I know, I'm going to do it. I promise I'm going to do it this year, Magda. The sign that A wraps around Sir, a lot. I was cold. Crush it! Rosie, that ray A wraps around a lot. That's okay. I just had to twist it. You blithering idiot. It happened the other day, too. All right, grab your plate. There we go. And get your napkin or cut off. Get what you want on the napkin. Oh, you brought napkin. So I'm doing the dishes, okay? Yeah, there's no dishes to do. Well, the plates. And then that pizza cutter or whatever. I got you a napkin too, okay? Yep. Yeah. He'll be back again. Blackbird! You got a plate? Oh. 
frosty the snowman was a happy jolly soul. All right. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Smells good. Tastes um, everything. I just tasted a little bit on my finger. That's a real dern. Very good. And the mushrooms are I like so the uh, Charles Lawton Christmas Carol. Mm. Mushrooms are good. Got the new uh, bread sauce too on there. So good. Hey, Mark. Mm. Bird's always got to wash a dish. Thank you, Yilva. He has no paper good. plates. I don't know why. Oh, you got to see Charles Lawton. Yes, it's delicious. Blackbird, do you have a plate? Yeah, I'm glad you feel a little better. Oh, Henry. Hey, Garrett. I always share with Bird if I'm cooking. Uh, Hi, Sarita. What's up, Sarita? Yeah, Lawton was great as Captain Bly. He was. He can't focus. He has good eyesight. He can read at night without reading glasses. Great. Lawton's greatest role is the hunchback of Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Well, I know some were political and Nineteen thirty nine was a tough year. Nineteen thirty nine? My mom was born in nineteen thirty eight. Yeah, Wizard of Oz and Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Uh huh. Gone with the wind. How green was my valley was excellent. I think Greer Garson was in that. She was in Mrs. Miniver, too. It's definitely a crispy. You don't like a floppy crust. It's all more damp and falls and everything. And this, I think, is a thicker crust than the last pizza you made? When I was here? That's why I'm full right now. I had two pieces last time. I ate faster than you, Rosie. I finished it.
the only BP. It's a nice airy crust. Oh, I know, Dapper. That must be Hill. Yeah, Mr. Steffington. Damn, I barely remember that movie. I do too, Butterfly. I like black olives, bell pepper, onions, sometimes tomatoes, and parmesan. Yeah, Harlow, it turned out well. <laughs> and mushrooms, if I didn't say that. I still think Betty, Betty Davis's best thing was... Um, yes, MR. ...of human bondage. With Leslie Howard. Me too, Mr. But I don't love meat. But I love. I've always liked veg veggie pizza, even when I was a meat eater. Excuse me. I eat meat pizza too, but hiccups. Mm -hmm. I have hiccups, Rosie. I never had hiccups on cam. So what are you gonna do? Nothing. I'm just gonna hiccup. The eggplant was good. The eggplant parm was good. Yeah, I remember that. Who played opposite her? She was a pretty well known. Judith, good night. I am Judith. I used to eat meat, and this pizza was vegetarian. I really like the. Uh, I don't care. I'm sorry. You're not my guest. Whatever. Linda Darnell, but she later died very young. I love Teresa Wright. I had such a crush on her. I always liked that girl next door type. Like Marlo Thomas. She's kind of a girl next door. I don't think I remember. Yeah, what a tragic life for her. I follow Marlo Thomas on Facebook. Isn't that cool? Her and Phil are still doing good. They're still working for St. Jude's. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Danny Thomas was the founder. You bigger than right? I never, I never warmed up to Audrey Pepper. There you go, Candy, celebrating. Bye-bye, Liz Cheney. Wasn't she in Roman Holiday? That girl with Ted Bessel. I'll take that girl.
Cats are here, folks. Blackbird, do you have a plate? Oh, yeah, it's over there. I'm... Yeah, pour yourself a couple pieces, man. I'm glad you are on medication now. Oh, yeah, I, I need to be medicated. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you're on antibiotics. Thank you. Yes. I, I think I need a little more than that. They said everything, you know, the physical. And they, said, they gave me a list for all the hospitals, but it got more mental stuff than physical <laughs> stuff. <I'm> like, <laughs> everyone's crazy. I, not, I don't want to seem mental. Whatever. You're not a bird. You're the most grounded bird. They're referring bird. you to a psychiatrist. Bird. A, You're the no, most. I can show you the paper. Oh, I, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Like, what? Everyone's crazy? I, I know we're all crazy, right? But Bird, you're uh, the most grounded person they ever saw over there, right? Yeah. You go to work every fucking day and then yeah. you know, Wow. You never complain for anything. And the dog you know? laugh. Right. Who the hell with that? Oh, we got some little I don't know if they want him in jail or not. Well, it's easy. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I know, flying. The birds are flying high. Oh, Candy Smith, you're wonderful. And we got Shimei is on. Uh, what's up, Wiggy? We got the un one and only Linda here. We got uh, Shimei is August 21st. Wow, we got a legend here. The beautiful Linda Wiggy. Good to see you. Yep, Shemay's the 21st of August. I know, Magda. Woody Widow and I have always gotten along good. She's not always down with the whole Vegas Chuchin thing, but she's gotten better over the years. <laughs> she's always in trouble somewhere, though.
I'm waiting for Vegas. <laughs> Hi, baby. We've baby. been looking for your return on cam. Pizza turned out great. Patricia Wakefield can't get into her town. I gotta watch the video I just made. You're too cerebral. Um, you're too cerebral for Vegas, Magda. Wiggy, Wiggy just barely makes the cut. Take care, Deborah. I'd like to see uh, Wiggy at the Green Door in Vegas. the spot. And that was the handle hot. When I asked you if the lid was hot, Rosie, when yes. I asked you if the lid was hot, I meant the handle. Bird, the Bird, make sure you eat some more, okay? All right. Because I'm not going to save it. It's going to be thrown out, so. Okay. Adorable, Bird. No, the Green Door is an adult swingers club in uh, Vegas that I went to with Vegas Fixin' and D-Dub. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I told Patricia, don't go to the Geek Geek Squad. Go to a small, independent computer sh shop that knows their shit. How is it, Bird? Okay? Yeah, we don't have uh, meat or anything, but it's uh, mushroom and... Ooh! Damn, I got hiccups, too. <laughs> Swingers Club. That just encourages Bird to eat it, Flan. Hermitage. That'd be a good place to go to. It's very highfalutin, Magna. Oh, oh, oh. We got apple pie for breakfast, though. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I want to make sure Bird hasn't eaten anything the last couple days, so. He's already skinny as a rail. <coughs> doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I did all the canning, Bliss Bliss. Yeah, the Hermitage would be great to see. Yeah, we're going to have apple pie for breakfast again tomorrow. Yeah. Listen to that dick. Oh, I have you on. All right, so you can wash up the dishes and... Oh, yeah, I already washed mine. And maybe uh, make sure the bird gets some more pizza. Here he comes. What pizza? Yeah, take as much as you want because I'm not going to be. Diane, you getting another one? She only has a one piece. I had three pieces. I had one piece. So. Get another one then. I don't need one. I'm full. I'm oh man, a French brain drain is a lot of work to do, Bliss Bliss. I put in a French drain before. Oh, the digging is something. Are you sure? She's serious. Yeah, make sure you just finish it up, okay? All right, I'll get another one. Yeah. Just you take it all, Bird, with you, okay? Are you sure how come I'm you I'm positive, don't... because 
I never eat the same thing two days in a row. Just finish it up for me. There you right, go. Yum, yum, thank you. There you go. I'll eat it. You need the calories. You've hardly eaten anything for days. Do, 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 do. Somebody wants your pizza, that's a good sign. <laughs> Remember, as we say in the medical field, the appetite's always the last thing to go. Right. As long as they're eating, it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, French drains are a lot of work to put them in. Oh, you wanted the pizza too? I'm not much on a um, um, vegetarian, but that was mushroom and onion. It was good. It's mini spot. <laughs> French like drain is if you have standing water and you've got to remove it from your property. You got to bury a, uh, a perforated pipe and have it collect water and then drain it away. Just coating, low level coating compliance, credentialing, Harlow. Now I'm getting a little chilly. Let me see what the temperature is. Up at I might 75 get a hoodie. degrees. It was 10 degree, about nine degrees hotter in Sherman Oaks than here, than I last year. Well, you're you're here, honey, not there. I right know. Okay, it's 79 here. I think it's the breeze. It's the breeze. Yeah, it's I'm, really comfortable. Or I'm wearing shorts. It's 87 where I live. So yeah, it's a lot of you get. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Okay, let me get my jacket. <laughs> I've done a French drain before. Oh, I left my jacket in your car. That's okay. Remember, okay? I'll wear a different one. Why don't you just unlock the car and just grab okay, it? Okay, I'll go get it. Give me the keys here and I'll unlock it and then lock okay, it. Okay, because I'm not sure which one pushes it. Yeah, it's brutal. Bliss, bliss. I've done it before. I think I laid 125 feet of uh, linear feet of French drain. It is brutal. you got to put rocks on top of it, cover it with mesh so it doesn't fill up. Hey, Harvey. <clears throat> Lon's gaining new, ra new ground respect for those Baltimore Orioles. Flying high, baby. <clears throat> Where's Mini Spot? Yeah, the one had white socks on it. Yeah. yeah. He there too. He baby, baby socks. <laughs> oh shit. I call it baby socks when baby sock comes around. Did you see Diane gave you some toys for I don't think the cats will play with them. Do 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 That red sauce worked perfect on the pizza. Yeah, we got baby socks. Okay, good luck enough, Rosie. Well, they're just, they're a very young team, Flan, and they're starting to get their confidence. Did you lock, okay. Yeah, you, get I, it? you can lock it up. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. Ooh. Sharon Sheridan, thank you, sweetie. Wow, so kind of you. Thank you very much, Sharon. I'm going to put it right into the travel fund. Yeah, you need to move water away from your foundation always. Thank you, Sharon. Amazing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support. I'm lucky every month has been a little more and a little broader support. It's been wonderful. So. Rosie O'Kelly. Sharon Sheridan tipped twenty dollars through Super Chat. Thank you. Give my regards to Broadway. Do 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 do. Give my regards to old Broadway. Do 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 do. Oh no. Do, 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 do. It's a huge job to put in a French drain. 
and they don't always work. Oh, well, thank you, Sharon. You're so kind with the stuff that you sent, and I so appreciate that in the travel fund. Thank you, sweetie. That'll go to excellent use. Thank you. How am I going to celebrate my birthday this year by going down to the Medicare office? <laughs> I'm going to do a special recorded video. <laughs> My liberation day from insurance. $1,300 a month plus. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. Y'all wanted to know. That's it. Can you think of something better to do? The old broad? Do 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 ooh. Signing up, man. I've given blood before. George M. Cohen was a great uh, that was a great, 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 great musical. <clears throat> yeah, get it. There you go, Bliss Bliss. Well, Sharon, September twenty first. So we got June twenty first. August 21st, September 21st. We've got uh, Sarah Kate, August 22nd. Blackbird is January 21st. So we have, everybody's like the 21st. I'm the 21st, Shemay's the 21st. Blackbird, it's unbelievable. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Rosie shake for breakfast, that's it. Kyle, how you doing? That is what I will do. Um, guarantee, guys, June 21st, I'll be outside the Social Security office. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have uh, five days till Shemay's birthday. And then I think she's going on holiday down to the shore, so that'll be nice. Yeah, it's okay, Magda. I'll make it on my electric motorized chooch. That's right, Candy. Try this again. Why don't you just have a gummy? I mean, it's, it's I got like mine. bullshit. I have five. Okay, I'll have another. Yeah, I mean, it's, I there's only five right grams. Off the bed. Yeah, it's, they're tiny. Mm -hmm. They're nothing. Yeah, it's hard to believe, Sharon, the 21 Club. No, I don't, I'm not collecting Social Security until 66 and a half. I'm talking about Medicare, <clears throat> National Medical Care for the old bird. I'm going to do a two-step outside the office. I'm going to put some music on and do a dance outside of that. Son of a bitch, Amanda, three weeks till your birthday. Good, Good night, night, Nino. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, yeah, you got to go there. I, I could already be collecting, but I'm waiting to. You know, I don't have any health issues and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to moonwalk there, bro. I'm going to moonwalk upside down on the ceiling of the Social Security office there. Do, 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 do. Been paying in since 14. Finally, it's payback time. <laughs> Social Security? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool when yeah, they. Yeah, to the Mummer Strut. Exactly, man. I remember going to the Mummer's Parade in 1977 and freezing my sack off watching that in Philadelphia. It's cool when they send you a. Um, around your birthday, they used to send you those forms. I don't know if they still do. I don't know. Of what send me anything, man. Send me a fifth of fucking four roses. I'm going to go in the parking lot outside Social Security. I'm going to open a bottle of oh, thank four you, Bliss, roses. Bliss. And I'm going to have a shot. Thank you. And y'all can call the cops, do whatever the hell you want. Good night, Nina. Nina. Oh, I like that leaf. It's not a marijuana leaf, though, but it's pretty... <laughs> Yeah, I did since I was 14, AJ. They have sucked the life out of me for over half a century. I do love working. I'm not going to stop working. My working is going to be brain working on uh, sports betting, handicapping. Uh, uh, yeah, it's an iconic parade, P2. I always love the Mummers parade. 
those costumes and all the banjos. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Harvey. So, if you want to wash that pizza plate, uh, Hi, Nicole. Oh, to sure. Pizza. Hi, Nicole. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's officially the 17th here at two months till 65. There you go, Flan. Yeah, casinos are going to love me or hate me. My baseball has been impeccable. Do, 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 do. I picked the Tigers tonight. Playing Cleveland at home. They got that uh, kid from Petaluma pitching. And Brandon Hyde, the manager of the Orioles, is from Santa Rosa. I'm a great delegator, Harlow. I figure you make the dough, you make the sauce, you make the uh, apple pie. Yeah, somebody else can clean the dish. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Mr. Z and Monkey Boy. That's it. And Diane, could you bring me a beer on the way out? Yeah. Thank you. Training. <laughs> it's Mini Mama Cat. Let's eat pizza. I don't really like the pizza great. Grayton is so overpriced. I like Tony's of North Beach, but it ain't cheap down there. Plus the machines are tight as hell. I want it, I like casino stuff where I use my brain, not pulling a handle on a machine. Right? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Because Harvey developed a limp noodle. Just kidding, Harvey. Mr. Z loves to be out there, Johnny. Don't fool yourself, bro. Outsource, delegate, get shit done. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, you missed the pizza. Rosie, I couldn't get the pan real clean. I don't think so. Check it, okay? It doesn't have I to be that clean. It, it doesn't have to be that clean. As long as you get the joy juice off of yeah, it. Yeah, I thought maybe there was some pizza. Yeah, did you remember the it. beer? Oh, sorry. Or did you have a short-term memory lapse? I had a short-term memory lapse. We're working on that. <laughs> We're working on that. Yep. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. Appreciate it. It's good to stay off my dogs for a little while. Uh, <laughs> Jen Jen, the lady from Germany, that's right. I still text the Missy every single day. Without fail. Fetch me up a beer. Yeah, Diane, short term memory. Yeah, by doing the pizza thing was too much for me, scraping it off, so yeah. I forgot about the beer. Yeah, so it's. it's oh, thanks, Catherine. Ultimately, we got it done, right? Right. So. And I hope you wanted the Ultra, not one of the I wanted the Ultra. Much. You hit the right one. Ultra. You know why? Because it is Tuesday night. <laughs> And tomorrow's trash day on the ranch. You'll be hearing that trash truck boom. I didn't hear it last time I was here. She's been pretty impervious to uh, weed this time. You haven't been bothered at all. Though. No. No, I don't miss the bicycle riding tonight, Sharon, because it would take it out of my where I had my sutures and stuff. So I think who's missing it is Amanda. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, cool now. Carlo, you sound like Madge from Palm Olive. You're soaking in it. I hear you, Magma. Palm Olive, yes, you're soaking in it.
Have they touched the toys? They don't know what the hell a toy is. No. Well, it's a dose of one. If those toys had catnip, they might like them. But they don't. They have rattles. They just don't understand it. They, to them, it's an object on the ground. That, uh, you know, but you know what catnip is, right? And how that gets them all wired, wired up. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Singular sensation. Every, Every move that she makes. makes. Do, 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 do. One, One look and, and suddenly no one else, else can do. do. do, 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 do. Jan Miner played Madge the Manicurist. Yeah, with palm olive dishwasher liquid. You're soaking it. I guess nobody had a dishwasher back then. Oof. Madge the Manicurist. Oh, That's yeah. Palm olive. Palm You're olive. Yeah. NASCAR. Wow, Thailand legalizes growing and sale of cannabis. That's unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Did the king of uh, Did the king of Thailand approve that? Yeah, I, I hand wash too, Sarita. I do. Well, I use mostly paper plates. I don't have a dishwasher, but when I used to um, live in my other apartment, I used the dishwasher. Get your old plane ticket. Fill that puppy up with a lot of dishes. Feels so nice tonight. Get your roots of kicks on Route 66, Johnny. Let's hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, please do so. Who's saying goodnight? Is Shemay leaving? Who's leaving? June or um, Shemay? Hand washing waste of water. What the hell is water? 500 charming commercials. Water. It's water, not water. 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 Good Can night, June. June. Yeah, Diane was here today, like, oh, oh, that's cool, Catherine. Diane okay, was like, Okay, I might, oh. Amanda. She's trying to hear Nancy Pelosi whether she's got a Balmer accent or not, you know? I watched, I watched, you, um... You need to hear her say water wash. Yeah, um, the new era one. Did you see my video on, um, Gelson's, you guys? Because that's a very fancy market. I did it about a month ago, but I'm, I'm probably going to go to era one soon. What the hell is that? It's in Studio City next to where the Sportsman's Lodge is. Sportsman's Lodge finally bit the bullet. Yeah. Oh, Magda it's Era One. Magda doesn't like Nancy Pelosi. Boy. It's Era One. I mean, it's Sportsman's Lodge Center or something. It's called. Who remembers big... Prell with the little pearl dropping down? And... Yeah, it's it's Sportsman's Lodge Center, Rosie, like a shopping center right next to it. That with Era One, fancy stuff, fancy stores, but I've never been yet. She's got a Balmer accent. Just but... like Barbara Mikulski used to have the senator from Maryland. Nancy Pelosi. Four, four feet, six inches taller. Or whatever. Nancy Pelosi. Um, and let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the people of Baltimore do not appreciate what you are doing here in Congress. <laughs> I'd like to hear her say war Washington and see if she says it like Rosie. Yeah, Washington. Not, I wanted... not Washington. I never said Washington in my life. I said Washington. Oh, I want her to. War. Okay, I want her to see like if she's. Like Warminster. Right, war I want her to see if she says that. Son of a bitch. Y'all make it like I'm a goofball or something. <laughs> like I should be on uh, fucking uh, Forrest Gump or something. <laughs> do, 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 ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, Bliss Bliss. Uh, 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 uh. Well, well, big deal. Tiananmen Square in 89, big deal. I was there in 91, and I didn't have the escort that she had. It's Washington. That's the way I say it, Cheryl. Washington. Washington. Martin O'Malley, yeah. Handsome Martin.
Now you got that turtle head. Uh, I don't know what the hell the governor, whatever the hell he is. It's a competition, T.O., because I declare it to be such. If you knew her, what a dick her father was. Her father was mayor. Mayor. A long time ago. What a dick. When she was 60s. a child? Yes. In the 60s. Oh, she what was a dick. He hid, under the, he hid under his desk when the riots were going on. And we're fighting for our lives down in the hood. Thank God the 17th Airborne out of North Carolina or whatever came through. <laughs> I'm going to have some beef jerky. Oh, man, that you are so good. Shit. No, I'm going to have that yogurt. I'm still a hungry. You're the new uh, Ethel Merman. There's no business like show business. The only business I know. Yesterday they told you you would not go far, but there you are. You're a star. So let's on with the show. Uh. <laughs> I'd rather be celibate. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so let's on with the show. <laughs> so guys, I'm having the Greek Safeway brand of um, I Greek you yogurt. Were having the... I changed my mind about the beef jerky. I'm gonna have the yogurt. I'm, I could have had a, t a second slice of geese, I guess, but I'm still a little hungry. Don't you stir it first? No, I like to eat it like this. What flavor is it? Cherry. Want to taste it? No, no, it's good. No, it's much no. better than Chobani. I've been ever since I tried the. Safeway brand or no, the No, it's Valley like some brand. kind of joy juice in there or something. I don't know. It's good. You might be too sour. No, I never you. heard the Ethel Merman disco album. Brett Summers was good on the match game. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very sweet. Much sweeter than Chobani. My sister did Prell shampoo commercial. Oh, that's cool, EJ. Go good night, good Elmer. Night. Good night, Rosie. Good, Good night, Blackbird. Good night, Bird. I hope you enjoyed the pizza. Yes, it was wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope you feel better. Don't forget your antibiotics, okay? Yes. Oh, I have to eat. All right, thank you. Good, Good night. night. Save the power. Married to Jack. Yeah, I know she was married to Jack Klugman. Ooh. The consistency, Cheryl. I don't have. I only no. eat Greek. Rosalind Russell was the mother in uh, Gypsy. Hello, Aussie. Hey, Aussie. How eat, you doing, mate? I only eat um, Greek yogurt, Cheryl. No, that was Rosalind Russell. You'll go far. Do do do. Hey, do, 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 do. Yeah, everything's coming up roses. Oh, I was talking about the t the uh, movie version. Yeah, the mother and gypsy. That's cool. Hmm. Auntie Mame. Yeah, I guess it was. I guess it was. Yeah, Lee Remick was good. She was a good actress. She was in Days of Wine and Roses. With Jack hey, Lemmon Sapphire. playing an alcoholic. Those days of wine and roses. I've heard that. La la do do do. Hey Sapphire Blue. La da do do do. La da do do. Yeah, that was a bitter movie with Jack Nicholson as an alcoholic. And Lee Remick. Yeah, Rosalind did Gypsy. She was amazing in that with um, friggin' um, shit. Who was the bitch that fell off the back of the boat? Natalie oh, Wood. Oh, Natalie Wood, yeah. Yeah, do, do, yeah Jack Lemon. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Rosalind Russell was in a world, uh, she was world class.
Good night, nice, Sharon. Sharon. Thank you, sweetie, for your support. It's really appreciated. Really appreciated right now. Thank you. Have you ever had a boss or supervisor that gave you problems for no reason? You mean the guy I call the boss in real life many times? Or do you mean like the boss in like my job? I have multiple bosses in my life. Do, do, do. Oh, well, thank you, Harlow. Yes, I do have a good memory. Thank you, Sapphire. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. <laughs> Look at Josh. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. The name escaped me for a minute. I couldn't remember. Doggone, guys. Don't, you know. <laughs> I ain't perfect. These little bastard cats running all around here all night, triggering the lights. Do, 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 uh oh, do. bird is that I can see his feet. It's okay. He's got that. As long as he so doesn't just an X ray him. There. As I have never seen something X ray do, do, right do. Yeah, she was wonderful. She was hot in, even up the brain scan or with a brainstorm. She was great in uh, Gypsy, too. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was not a good singer. Mm -hmm. She's a good old Santa Rosa girl. Yeah, I think that was her last movie, Harvey. Before she went for a dip. Yeah, I know, Catherine. I don't think we have raccoons here. But uh, we got cats running all over the property. Yeah, Splendor and Nicolette Grass. I'm getting kind of sleepy. What time is it? I might go to bed early. Yeah, you okay? retire anytime you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired. Good night. Thursdays. Good night. Good night, everyone. Of Whoops. wine and roses. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Blue dude. Yeah, just, rebel with that. I haven't gotten a lot of sleep, I guess, or I'm just tired. Maybe because I walked so much today. I'm tired. Dude, you got to start building up your stamina. Yeah, maybe. I'm walking. Night Flan, Night Crow, Night Magda, Night EJ, Night Harvey, Night Ed, Good Night Absurdity, Good Night Sapphire. So, anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, everyone. Singular sensation. I'm gonna come Every back. Move that. Yeah, that was Louise Fletcher with uh, Nurse Ratchet. Medication time. Should I just put this whole thing in your trash or should yes, I scoop it? Yes, put that everything down? in the trash. Okay, yeah. I'm scoop it down the sink. That was a great movie, One Flew Over to Cuckoo's Nest. That was a good movie. That really put Jack Nicholson on the map. Okay, see ya. Bye, folks. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Diane. Okay. You want your vape? Is this. Uh, oh, is that the. Oh, yeah, I want that. That's the box. Thanks. There you go. I don't know. I like Kathy Bates in Misery. I thought she was okay. I'm sure Magda liked uh, Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction. Bag this kind of lady. <laughs> You're not going to ignore me, Jack. Anything goes. You'll do swell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. La da do. Yeah, James Conn was good in that. Never, no man. <laughs> 
<laughs> Still, it's great scenes in there, Magda. Sleepy time. Everything's coming up, Rose. Yeah, Shawl Shack was good. For the first time in my life, I broke parole. Uh. Yeah, Dolores Claiborne. Do 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 do. This was my present. I would have burned all my books exactly. Everything's coming up roses. Do 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 do. do. I think it's about seventy three here. What movie can I watch over and over again and not get tired of? It's it's kind of an obscure win, but it won it won um, Jack Lemmon an Oscar, and it was called Hold That Tiger, which was about a guy that worked in the Los Angeles garment industry, fashion industry, and how competitive and how difficult it was to bring out a spring line and stuff, and just uh, how his business went down the tubes, and uh, how he finally ended up hiring somebody to torch the place. Hey, St. Creole. Save the tiger. Yeah, save that tiger. Save the tiger. <clears throat> I could watch that. Yeah, that was a great movie. It also starred... I can't remember the other guy in it. But that's one I could watch forever. He's just so... He, yeah, Patch of Blue's good, but he, he, yeah, China Syndrome was great. I mean, his Prince, that scene in the nuclear control room was his, he was as good on a par, he was on a par with Jimmy Stewart in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. The looks on his face when he thought that thing was overheating and dumped that water. And he had Wilford Brimley in there. Yeah, great scene. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I could watch The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, too, with like 24-7. Ooh, ooh, wah, wah, wah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, there you go, Catherine. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, Harry Stoner mourns the loss as he sealed his paper by Ray Hammond. Torches faltering factory. It was tough because that was LA was starting to slide into being overrun by third world uh, suppliers. Yeah, good movie. Jack Gilford, you remember? Yeah, Jack Gilford was a very famous character actor. Yeah, Some Like It Hot was good too, but Jack Gilford, would, they'd go back and forth about, we can't even consider Torch in the business and shit, you know. Do, do, do. Yeah, Jack Lemmon was a class act, and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Can you imagine, you got Baldwin, Alec Baldwin, he's got to come out and do a soliloquy, a, a long solo, in front of what four or five best actor Oscars uh, Harris uh, Kevin Spacey uh, it was at uh, I don't know Dog Day uh, Pacino Jack Lemon, and uh, the guy that played in uh, out slums of Beverly Hills or whatever. can you imagine always be closing yeah, the Out of Towners was outstanding. Yeah, I saw that flaunt. Air Force like one and two, that was awesome. Gosh, man. Yeah, that monologue was amazing in that movie. Always be closing. That's a that was his first big role, Shemaine. That's a big you know, stand in front of five best actor winners. Whew. 
Yeah, I just mugged a kid in the park. I can't remember who played his wife. She was always very understated in uh, movies. I think she's been dead a long time. I liked it when he got whistling between his teeth when he got lost his uh, cap or something. Yeah, I didn't care for Walter Matthau. I did not think he had any polish on him at all. Do -do. Sandy Dennis, thank you, Crow. Yep. Is she still alive? Is she alive or is she, uh, is she gone? Do, 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 do. Has she passed away? Jerry Orbach was good too, yeah. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, she died in '92. Hmm. March 2nd and 92. Oh, wow. She was born in Nebraska. Yeah, she had a very flat tone to her. But I thought Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross was a hell of a movie. Damn, that was good. The last thing I like Kevin Spacey in, and we all know how that turned out. Yeah, she was the wife of, uh, oh, shit, what was her name? Oh, and who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Fuck. I can't remember his name. He was in a shitload of movies. No, I think Sandy Dennis is dead. Yeah, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I like Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. With her. No, Sandy Dennis's husband, and uh, he was a young professor at uh, the college. Sandy Dennis's husband. It's been a long day, Harvey. We've been out doing content. We put down a lot of miles. George Siegel, thank you. Yes, yes. They were so baffled in that movie, Magda, but it's, you know, you would never see something like that in real life, right? People looking at some old blown out professor and his alcoholic wife there, and you think they'd stay or hang around? Uh, <laughs> I guess that was a very good role for Elizabeth Taylor. I never thought much of her acting chops. Cat on a hot tin roof. I'll be wrote that play for four men. Uh, Hollywood and Wood. Well, yeah, one not surprising. I don't think that would have gone down well, Magda. The Hayes Commission might have had something to say about that. Do 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 do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Sandy Duncan had that floating eye, didn't she, or something? Sandy, we're over here. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Burton was a good actor, yeah. No, I never watched, uh, I never got into Anthony Hopkins too much, to be honest with you, Craig, except uh, he was in a movie with Emma Thompson, uh, which I thought he was quite understated and quite good in that role. I can't remember what the hell the name was. It was so stiff, it was so excellent, it was so... That movie, good night, Sharon. Thank you for the support. It's really, really appreciated. That movie was so awkward with Emma Thompson. It was so beautifully British, like 
how could a stiff butler and a and a chambermaid ever come together? I mean, it was just, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. What's up, GBJ? That was great acting in that. Good night, John. I mean, he was so perfect as the butler. He had no life when he retired. And, uh, you know, and just, how do you relate to people when you've been on such a formal level with people for so many decades? I thought Anthony Hopkins was outstanding in that. Just every every minute of that movie was awkward as hell. Do 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 do. He beat out Chadwick uh, Chadwick Boseman. But Magda, for my money, um, Daniel Day Lewis. There's not an actor that can touch him. I mean, just astounding. It's just astounding gift. Astounding. Good night, Angus. It's a shame he's retired. Woo, there we go, Ozzy. Oh, I think his performance in uh, There Will Be Blood was pretty phenomenal. He's gifted. Yeah, there's just there's just some cold edge about Meryl Streep. I could just and Magda, I followed Meryl Streep all the way back to the Deer Hunter. Yeah, Mohicans was an incredible movie. My beautiful laundrette. Yeah, that was a real showpiece. Well, I'll tell you, Harvey, a phenomenally gifted individual, my left foot. Yes, I'm in PJs, folks. I guess I did it. Okay. Night. Good night. Yeah, I don't. How in. Oh, man. Sally Field. Oh, my God. She gave the most friggin' awkward and cringe Oscar. When they ripped off the coal, that's it, Aussie. Uh, she gave the most cringe Oscar uh, speech ever. I had to suffer through her flying nun bullshit when I was a kid, too. You like me. You really love me. Yeah, you love me. You really love... I mean, come on, Magda. Who in the hell does that? Run bang, bang, bang. about three hours, but awesome. He nailed it. Okay, that's cool, Crow. Yeah, that was really cringe to watch. Yeah, I watched uh, Flying Nun, Shemay, way before your time. Yeah, Gidget. God, that was cringe that... Uh, uh, I just remember face palming my face, you know. Like, oh, she didn't. Good, the good old boys. Jackie Gleason made that movie, Prince. 
Do, 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 do. Yes, we are, Harvey. Could you imagine smoking the bandit without Jackie Gleason? I like the 9 to 5. God, I love Jackie Gleason. He was very underrated as an actor. And he was highly athletic, too. He was incredibly light on his feet. He was a gifted pool player. <clears throat> Always a big ladies man. I remember growing up and watching the Jackie Gleason show from Miami Beach. It's the Jackie Gleason show. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Miami Beach. With the June Taylor dancers, yes, and away we go. Bad boy Bubby. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Norton! <laughs> yeah, Ralph? Norton! Yeah, Ralph, what do you want? <laughs> uh, Art Carney. Ralphie Roy. <laughs> uh, it's a shame he only did one season. That, that's right, Ozzy. <laughs> Norton! <laughs> yeah, Ralph, I'm in the stewards tomorrow. Yeah, she turned in for the night, Rupert. It's been a long day today. You'll see the video tomorrow. Yeah, she needs to she needs to build up her stamina. Do, do, do. But I've been very outdoors. I'm used to walking miles and Well, Harvey, you should have listened to the Detroit Tigers tonight, my friend. Uh, do, 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 one singular sensation every move that she made. Do, 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 do one look and suddenly nobody else will do. Do, 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 do. Did you fix that electric yet, Harvey? Son of a bitch. I should come over there and put my foot so far up your arse. What's it been, five years? Yeah, Art Carney was great. Yeah, Audrey Meadows was very understated too. I never cared for um, Joyce Randolph as Trixie. Do do do. Yeah, from Eddie Murphy. That's it. The choreographer turned director behind her. It was a hell of a it was a hell of a show. I remember seeing the Broadway show, Magda. Beautifully done. Yeah, she was beautiful. They she's another one that they had be very frumpy on the set, like uh like Vivian Vance in I Love Lucy. Lucy told her, You better not ever come to the stage looking better than me someday. That'll be your last working day on the set. And Magda, I don't know if you know the history of Lucille Ball was a uh, a card-carrying member of the Communist Party, and it's only because her husband kissed ass on a pre-production uh, before going live on CBS, kissed the audience ass that they spared her. remember her father signed her up because he thought you'd go further in those days being a communist so ooh, ooh, ooh. but she almost got nailed she was one of the few find me another Hollywood star that escaped the um, you know the um, House on Un-American Activities uh, Nixon and 
uh, what's his face from Wisconsin. Find me another star that escaped. Good thing her husband escaped from communist, from free communist Cuba. Yay, Eliza Kazan, yeah. Yeah, the McCarthy hearings. That's the only star I can think that ever escaped unscathed. Well, because America loved Lucy. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Desi came out on stage before the show. Asleep, Lori, how are you? Do, 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 do. Ooh, bum, 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 bum. I like William Frawley best. Fred. He was kind of my hero. He was the first person to really like to save a buck like I do. Do 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 do. You couldn't even imagine I love Lucy without Fred. Just wouldn't even work. And how is a Cuban become friends with a white guy anyway in New York City? I mean, what the hell? You know, in 1950s? Really? Crazy. The chances of that were probably like zero. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. William Frawley had a long, long movie and TV career. Oh, yeah, but why would you find a Cuban in the same building, though, Cheryl? That's my point. If we're not in Canada. We're in New York City, honey. Oh, you have it on every day? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 623 East 68th Street. I wonder what the hell's there now. Because mm. Bonnie doesn't like New York City now. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh. Ba, 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 ba. Ah. J.K. Simmons. But it's unlikely, Magda, that they would have been neighbors at that time. I Love Lucy is filmed before a live studio audience. Strange. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, you can really thank, uh, Desi Arnaz for that. But once he started getting drinking, she showed what a uh, superb boss she was. She took over that studio and made a fortune on that. Uh, Javier Barden played Ricky in that movie, and Nicole played. Now that, you know, no country for old men. I'll tell you, Magda, that scene in that filling station. I wasn't a big fan of it either, uh, Shimei. I was a bigger fan of the Honeymooners. <laughs> now, Javier, I mean, what a weirdo in that. Oh. <laughs> he's a very scary guy. I think he's like the... 
I think he's one of the scariest actors in Hollywood. Chatsworth, California, around the Orange Grove. <coughs> that was a weird movie. And Better Call Saul. Hey, old man, you, you hit my car. <laughs> uh, yeah, Breaking Bad was great. It was a great series. But I'll tell you, if you want to laugh your ass off, Trailer Park Boys out of Canada, holy shit. I'm so sad that Mr. Leahy died. Oh my god, he was... This fucking guy could stumble. Uh, trailer Park Boys with Bubbles. <laughs> and they're collecting the piss drugs all around. <laughs> hey, Mr. Leahy, why do you have all these piss drugs to collect? Bubbles... If you have to ask, <laughs> uh, that's so good, man. Hey, Mr. Lee, why do I have to collect all these piss drugs? <laughs> he throw them in the back of the <laughs> of the car and shit. Yeah, Bubbles is a hero. I love when those fucks were in jail too. That shit was hilarious. Uh, they just show up at a business. Yeah, we're here to swap out the furniture, you know, and start packing up all the furniture. People are like, what the hell? I didn't get the memo on this. Really? Well, look, time is money. Jack Lanier sent this down. Oh, Jack did? Okay. <laughs> right, Mr. Leahy. Uh, but Mr. Leahy is passed on. Sad. Trailer Park Boys. And they say Canadians can't do comedy. Really? Yeah, that's it, Ozzy. Boo do 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 do. Fuck, Ozzy, you're blessed down there in Australia. You got some of the best comedy, some of the best fucking things. Muriel's Wedding, the, his slop family and all that shit. Strictly Ballroom. Christ, the Aussies do it up in film. I could watch Strictly Ballroom a hundred fucking times. With Tina Sparkle. Yeah, Muriel's Wedding. What a phenomenal movie. With the Hislop family. <laughs> it's like one of the greatest movies I ever saw in my life. Yeah, I should watch The Castle. I, I'd watch any Australian movie that was put in front of me. Uh, Canadians don't understand sarcasm, but goddamn, they understand straight comedy, man. They do it up. In Canada, you got some great writers. Kidnap man, speaking of Russia. They got some very gifted writers in uh, Canada. Laugh my ass off. Two kids in the hall, all that. So, Magda, your homework assignment is to see the Confessions of Joan of Arc, the 1928 black and white. If you can stand it, it's a pretty raw movie. That's your homework assignment. That actress in there got sick as a dog after that because uh, the, the director just broke her ass down. Ooh. And then Diary of a Lost Girl. 
Yeah, Degrassi Junior High. I remember that. Yeah, I think it's 1928. Start a French actress who is just over the top. It's got one of the wildest endings you'll ever hear. It's an unbelievable uh, ending. That was during the period of the War of the Roses. And the ending of that movie is phenomenal. And then Diary of a uh, Lost Girl. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely worth seeing, Magda, because it's really over the top. And it uses the actual transcripts because the, the English were excellent at keeping records. Uh, so everything is all written down. It's all, it's all the real deal. Yeah, Crow, uh, Shelley Duvall... I could say so much about Stanley Kubrick and his abuse of, um, of actresses and stuff. His, his abuse goes all the way back to Clockwork Orange. Just an abusive director. Who just believed you had to just abuse people to get the best out of them. Hey, Nicole. Tragic. You see Shelley Duvall and, and uh, you became a bag lady. Yeah, check it out. That was by the great Ernst Pabst, uh, Magda, because... Um, you love or you know about Louise Brooke. She was the first one that ever said no to the casting couch in Hollywood. And she was a great she was a great she could have been a great one of the greatest actors of the thirties and shit. And uh you know, when she hit the casting couch she told them, Fuck you, I'm not doing that and they she ended up going over to Germany. And working with uh, Ernst Papps, the great director there. And when she came back, she could never... She got some shitty role with uh, John Wayne in some crappy western, and that was the end of it. Yeah, Looking for Lulu. Her, she wrote a book, yeah. She ended up living in Rochester. Somebody pulled her out of there and helped rebuild her life a little bit. She was in New York City. Yeah, fairy tale theater, but she just, you know, she may, the wheels just came off of her cart, you know. Uh, I really think that um, Stanley Kubrick was responsible for Shelley Duvall's downward spiral. <laughs> Robert Benchley, yeah. Robert Benchley was uh, very underrated. And, um, it's He's one of those actors. People oh yeah, I saw him in movies, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Luella Parsons and um, Tallulah Bankhead. Do, do, do. The Pride of Alabama. Mm -hmm. oh, but she was kind of shattered by then, friend. She just didn't have the acting chops anymore. Playing that, um, playing Jack Nicholson's wife, it was just, it just broke her. She was good in Lifeboat, Tallulah Bankhead. I think her father, father was an Alabama United States Senator. Yeah, the Algonquin Roundtable. 
a magnet. It's a very interesting. It was, you know, that should be one of your heroes there. It's, uh, you know, defied the system and it's like uh, consigned herself to a life of basically poverty and shit because she didn't go along with the Hollywood studio. And she ended up, somebody pulled her out of New York and put her in Rochester and then she got a second wind over there. And if you ever heard her talk on YouTube videos, she is an amazingly uh, astute speaker and very erudite and very together. <clears throat> she didn't do many films, Magda. She did the old, the old Army game in 1927. Uh, Louise Brooks was just uh, stunning looking, just gorgeous. She was one of the first, yeah. Hey, Darla, how are you? Yeah, she was a real broad. Uh, Alright guys, it's been um, over three hours. I don't want to be talking too loud because she's sleeping here. If you've not hit the thumbs up, thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Please hit the thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it down. you got a video coming up tomorrow morning of our adventure. Uh, down in Point Ray Station. Also cheese tasting or uh, visiting the uh, cheese factory and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please check it out, check it out and uh, at least stop by and give a thumbs up or leave a little comment there. So, um, yeah, Magda, always good to see you. Uh, love to be on a panel sometime and talk movies and stuff with you. Joey D, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, everybody else for uh, being here tonight and being so kind to uh, Diane. And subbing her up. So thank you to my wonderful moderators. The very best in the business. Thank you very much for everything you do. And uh, tomorrow's Trash Day in the Hood. I'll see you tomorrow.